Okay, I am here. Where's my where's my webcam? Where did I put it? Oh my goodness, there it is. All right, there we go. Turns on webcam, immediately starts moving around on desk. Okay. Does the stream randomly pause for anyone else? I've restarted my Twitch app. Um, I have dropped zero frames, which is actually rather unusual for me, and I've been outputting at a consistent... Yep, I've been outputting at a consistent bitrate. My FPS is a consistent 30. Everything should be fine. I agree with Shmike, I've also had issues with uh, buffering recently. Howdy, Owen. So, uh, welcome in. Next level college chef, Griff, Ridley, Shmike, and Owen. Ridley, thank you very much for that good sub. <laughs> if you don't bankroll Griff, who will? Yeah, how howdy, Owen. How is everyone today? How are, how are we all on this blessed Friday night, 7.09? It's not 7.09, it's, it's 10 past 7. <laughs> Oh yeah! I was good until I realized I made a fatal mistake, that's tragic. Nice level college chef, it is really nice to see you by the way. Uh, even if your phone is on its last legs. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Uh oh, is right. A Friday night, you're living in the future? Oh, it's Friday night where I am. Now, it being a Friday is actually very, very good. Because Pokemon Crystal is a bizarre game, so we can actually catch something specially on Friday. Smorbo, I think I'm just gonna level you up to 25 right now. I don't see a reason to not. We're clearly using you. <laughs> just pretend this is Alakazam, okay? I called his queer proms tonight. My friend and I were gonna go, but I didn't know I was supposed to RSVP. Oop! <laughs> Oop! <laughs> Are you familiar with the concept of party crashing? Well, so you have a special, like, queer prom. We only had one prom, and it wasn't even any good. I don't even have a proper day, I just went with a friend. The LGBT center is hosting- Oh, okay, that's actually really nice. Shame you didn't RSVP, eh? Is there any way you could just... slide in there? Alright, Smarmoo, welcome. Last year you didn't have to RSVP, so I don't know I had to. Yeah, that's fair. Headbutt? cha cha like Yeah! I mean, come on, it's a prom, they'll let you in, right? I mean, you can learn this for like two seconds. Because I'm about to just buy you the cool TM moves anyway. Oh, no, I'm not. Not with that money. I can give you Thunder Punch. <laughs> thunder Punch and Confusion will have to do, Smarmoo, okay? Because Thorin doesn't need a, a disable, I guess. Oh gosh. Drowsy is a very dire little creature. As my sweet mate has an LGBT Centre volunteer and they said there's no way now. Ah, that sucks. That really sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, I think the very first thing we do is just buy repels. And we just immediately go and do... Oh, wait, no, we don't have Surf. We do not do that yet. We buy Repels, though. We definitely buy Repels. Okay. Never mind. I, I didn't want Repels anyway. How are you supposed to know to come here, by the way? Like... <laughs> what? <laughs> and then I'm still gonna hang out, but I feel so bad because both of us are so excited. <sighs> Things happen in life, you know? No fairy water at this Pokemon Center? I could really do it with some. 
Honestly, it might help out my Pokemon doing more damage as well. Oh my god, your moves are so dire. Oh god, you need surf so badly. Uh, I I ice punch? <laughs> Look, we'll get it done eventually, okay? But yeah, no, things happen. Plans don't always come to fruition. I have, I have literally, by the way, Schmike, I have never used Fairy Water for that effect. It always, like, slips my mind that I can buy more and, and use it for that. But I think I don't, I don't think I've ever had a seed where I've had Repel late enough that I didn't get it when I wanted it. Which is crazy. Oh, hello, Mother. Hello, Mother Dearest. Did you know? Good for you, Mother. Oh, which one has Jolteon? That's the one I don't want to fight. I'm gonna think of it for full Charlock for your defense enough. Repel with only being 2 MP, and though, means that most of the time I feel like you'll be fine. It's definitely something that will cross my mind much more. Although it depends on if my defense is actually high enough. If I haven't been able to afford the, um... Silver Shield, it's probably not overly worth it, unless it's a crazy high agility seed. Depends so if we can have a mini prom at their place, but it just won't be the same. Why are these Pokemon so inaccurate? I don't know I'm gonna wear the outfit, it's gonna wear the prom because it would just end up making more upset. What was your outfit though? I think you still should. What is happening? Why can they not hit me? <laughs> 95 accuracy, they missed it like three times out of four. What? Okay, well that's Umbreon and Espeon. Oh god, which one would which one would I make Flare on? This one. <laughs> I feel like I've been played like a fiddle. Probably don't need to switch to Smart French, but whatever. <laughs> it's time to learn ridiculous RNG. Yeah, but ridiculous RNG in my favor. Dragon Quest, Dragon Warrior would never. I still have my old prom outfit, but I've never once worn it since because it's never come up. It's still learning. <laughs> right, I, I think we had enough bad RNG last uh, last stream, actually. I think I'm good with not having any more. I think we'll put Thorin up front because if he doesn't evolve at the next level, then he's kind of a lost cause anyway, right? I may as well just pray. And I currently have absolutely no attachment to Smarma. We need to be careful though, if we hit level 30 too quickly, we're, we're done. We have to avoid as many trainers as possible in these upcoming areas. Don't, don't tempt me, there is no world where Thorin can win this. It will not happen. He will die. <laughs> I'm not risking that. World's worst electric type. Cute. I'm, I'm doing my best with Thor. Like, I brought him through from yellow. He is the original Pichu. Well, the original Pikachu, but he's not Pikachu yet. <sighs> Although, fingers crossed in one level I can get him into a Raichu. I see you were on all along. What kind of order is that? Miller can have fun go fast. I will not be going particularly fast. <laughs> but yeah, have a have a good lark. Have a good day. Just in general. Okay, Anagos. I feel so bad that Anagos isn't gonna get surf. 
I just simply don't want to give surf to them both. Like, someone needs to learn waterfall. I love how Flareon made up for all of that RNG by getting a burn with Ember. Casual 10% chance. No problem. Don't worry, Anikos. Your, your time will come. You got Surf in the last game, okay? It's fine. What, what did I fight you all for? What? Isn't this where I got Surf? Oh, okay. Okay, I- that literally was just all complete, like, somewhat muscle memory from many years ago and guesswork. That is bizarre. At least they built it into the plot and Hargles was over. He talked to Blue Hat Man. I got you. I got you. I got there surprisingly fast. F in the chat for Anikos not getting surf. <laughs> don't worry about it, Anikos. Don't worry about it. Wargon's good enough, right? Surf, Waterfall. I mean, Surf, Waterfall, Ice Punch, and Bite. That's probably good enough as a moveset, right? Like, he could have Surf, too. I just know for Alligator can't learn Waterfall in Gen 2 for some reason. I'm just wondering if Surf is okay to have on Anikos. You have things to say about your run Wednesday sometime? Oh. Are they, are they aggressive? <laughs> I was so stressed in that run. I thought I'd um, I thought I'd hit the fast forward button at one point because I was sure I hit the R button and my game jumped. But I checked it afterwards and my R button wasn't mapped to anything. And it's like, <gasps> Surf is pretty good. I know Surf's pretty good, but it's like, I'm just wondering if I have space for it on both of them when I need to cover Waterfall on my team as well. <laughs> okay, before we go anywhere else, I want to head it this way. There's a lot of I like this thing you don't keep doing it. Oh, thank God. Right, I'm looking for a girl. Is it you? <laughs> Aren't we all, right? You do validate. You don't sound familiar to me. Hop up, yep, cool. I'll just send up a heart attack. I'm not even gonna entertain this. Smarmo! You don't have ice punch. Oh my god, my team sucks against Hoppip. How did this happen? I mean, it doesn't, right? I've got ice moves, but like, I just don't want to send out my water types against a grass type. It feels wrong in my head. Confusion actually is probably less powerful than Headbutt on Drowsy, right? Oh, it doesn't matter. Two hickey. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna want anything other than Surf, Waterfall, Ice Punch, Bite. I don't think I'm gonna feel missing out on anything. And if I am, I can replace Bite with Strength, right? Like... Was he asking things to approve? Yeah, I... Look, it's keeping me up every night that I fought that second golem, okay? <laughs> it's not left me. That was a serious case of RPG brain. I was just like, oh, I'm only 50 experience away from the next level. It's like, it doesn't matter, I have ghost stats. Oh god. Okay, we're gonna be here a while. Oh wait, so this restores like, absolutely nothing. Okay, I don't know why. Oh, that, okay. <laughs> that helps. Try all you like, Skiplum. Smarmo's gonna take you out one day. Probably. Classic Smarmo. I 
I'm not trying to fight every trainer is the thing. Oh. I did not mean to fall into this grass. Alright, what we catching? Me house. Okay. That's interesting enough. Uh, Thunder Wave does not do anything for catching. Did I even buy Pokeballs? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I don't think we're catching Meowth. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> we have one Pokeball. <laughs> I mean, I'm not planning on fishing up, like, anything, so I'll throw the lure ball if need be, but... Version is pretty good. It is absolutely not, but... In Gen 2, yeah, it's probably one of the better things. So it's on the okay side. Oh, thank god. <laughs> My hubris did not punish me. Thanks for lurking now. No worries. Ah yes, Meowth is my favourite dog. Alright, I need a name for this creature. This creature that will live in the box and never see the light of day. Because why would I use Meowth? To be honest, Persians would be one of the better things I have in the box. My, my logic is that I, I'm not going to lose anyone else, so therefore it's irrelevant. Problem solved, right? I have so many cats. Or I have had so many cats while growing up. I don't have any right now. Um, Fido, <laughs> Fido. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I'll think of a cat. To no, Fido. Hey, is it you? Art thou who I seek? Hey, Olivia, what, who is this trainer that I de that I desire? Come on, Thorin. I believe in you. You can take this, you can take this. Oh yeah, you take that like a champ. You, you take that 20 base power move like a champ. <laughs> oh, this one might not go so hot. Okay, that was a crit. Corsola doesn't exactly hit hard, that's the only reason I felt safe leaving Thorin in. Does it just dogs for chunks a lot? Yeah, that would definitely fit. <laughs> Moon milk every day? Good, good for you. I can't ever imagine saying that to a stranger. Oh yeah, you beat me, did you? Well, I consume milk. Who's the real winner? Right, that poison's starting to stress me out. I don't want to use my poison cure berry, though. I want to save my curing berries for as long as possible. And I just want to go into the farm. I want this tree. Yeah, that's the only mint berry in the game. Which is the only reason I know it's there. You got the TM for Drain Punch here in Hot Girl Soul Silver, but no such luck. Because it doesn't exist. Okay, I need to check what route this trainer's on. Because she's the only reason I'm here right now, and I don't want to fight too many trainers, because I don't want to overlevel. 38. Oh, 38 is the last one. So I just missed... Ah, I see where she is. I see the two trainers I fought, and I see where she is. Okay. through this kid. Okay, you do you. Yeah. 
Schoolboy Chad. Oh, he's got a life ahead. Oh my god, Mr. Mime! There's nothing Chad about that. Honestly, just go straight for Smart Ridge. Pretty confident Mr. Mime is not going to one hit KO with confusion. Oh! Oh, God! Alright, this might be a pest. He's multiple. Mip Why is it going after me? Oh, just speed time. Okay, let's get the hell out of it. Right, Smartfish, I need you to kind of roll high here. Okay. High rolling magnitude eights are his specialty. Close. Right there, there we go. I am... I'm okay at Pokemon. I like them. They're cool lads. Laughing. Oh. Come on, my ground type's the only one of my Pokemon that's weak. Why do you do this to me, Lastana? That seems way too good. I never listen to any of the, um... Like, Trainer Has Seen You themes. Okay, fine, I deserve that. That Thunderwave miss was very lucky. Which made him smart fridge to mag 8. Oh, I could never. He's still not that smart a fridge. We gotta let him we gotta let him cook. <laughs> Second this motion. Magnitude 8. If he makes it a gen 3, I might rename him to that. I don't know, we'll see. I can't bother renaming them in, in the middle of a run though, because I have to go all the way back to Goldenrod. And, uh... Like, Goldenrod's really out of the way for the rest of the run. It's never good to go there again. Right, give me your phone number. It's your thing. Dana and I, gal pals. <laughs> what the hell, Dana? Okay, uh, wait, they don't sell repels in Violet City, though. This sucks. I know they don't sell repels there. I'm not simply going to not run into Lapras at this point. Oh, I guess we're going back to Golden Run anyway. But like, we happened to be playing on a Friday. We didn't catch anything in Union Cave. This was built for Lapras. These are all apricorns, aren't they? Ugh. Um, Cart, maybe if any of your balls didn't suck. Lapras is so awesome. Well, yeah, I do want it for a reason. Despite the fact I already have water types, I want it because Lance is scary. Now that I've lost, um, Kadabra, I want something that's like an actual ice type. The thing that stresses me out is that, like, I don't know how well it'll do with all of them having, like, Thunder Wave and one of them having Thunder and stuff. Hello, Stantler. Um, Anacos. No, Anacos needs to get Surf. I need to get Surf into that, into that Squirtle. There's absolutely no need to not have Surf on it. Surf from Waterfall is a fine move, so I'm never gonna use Withdraw.
Like, I'm just making Anakos bad for the sake of making him eh later on. No need for that. Although, wait, Whirlpool's gonna be a problem. Oh no, I'm playing Crystal! Haha! <laughs> Whirlpool doesn't matter. Oh! Oh my god! You actually did evolve at 26! And here I thought you were just gonna be dead weight forever. Good job, Thorin. 26 is the level I wanted, because that's when I learned Thunderbolt. That's amazing. It's a damn shame it never learns anything else, but... Eh, yeah, Thunderbolt though. Dana? No way! No way! No way! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <sighs> In case you hadn't figured it out, Dana is the only way we can get a Thunderstone. The only way! I need her to phone me and give me one. Wow, look, Thorin. Now you're only slightly miles behind everyone else, rather than completely miles behind everyone else. Proud of you. What a good Pokemon Pikachu is. Um, yeah, I need to teach Surf. I need to teach Surf. There's no need to not teach Surf. It sucks, it sucks, it really does, but oh well. Gotta make do. I don't need Whirlpool, so it's fine. I just don't like having the same HM move on multiple of my team members. And if we end up using Lapras as well, we're gonna have three water types, which is very stressful. Right, since I'm in the area anyway, I'm gonna check if that was... I was such a list of proper nouns, I was immediately like, oh, it's a spam bot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can understand why Twitch recommended me after that list of people I've never heard of. Yeah, there's no repels here. Okay, um... Unfortunately, we actually need to go back home anyway. It sucks it's no repels. I think I have one. But one isn't enough to get to where Lapras is. <laughs> I don't even have one. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't even have one. Yeah, welcome in, Ishtolam. You don't need any more Pokeballs, right? I don't need any more Pokeballs. I'd rather buy Great Balls. I've not forgotten. What is on the other side of this water? I have never in my life crossed this water. <laughs> I am right. Glad they put it there. I was so excited. Oh, I have to go through the grass. That sucks. Okay, I should have gone to Goldenrod first. Because in Goldenrod I could have bought uh, the pals. Which I know aren't available before um, Union Cave normally because you can't guarantee Lapras in the slightest. Thank you for remembering those trees forever, Ridley. I've actually started uploading clips to the Clips channel again. I just forgot for so long. Because I realised that the VODs channel, I've accidentally been uploading the clips so that they go up in 2024. It's like, that's not helpful. I didn't realise that the VODs have been going up, like... Or rather, I didn't realise they've not been going up. I've been uploading them. So I've set the VODs so that they now actually... up. Oh. Rita? Welcome back, Griff. Welcome back.
Right, you ready to do time travel? In just the dumbest way? You do I think you're gonna do? I would never. No. Yes. Oh, hi, Donna. Hey! <laughs> I have no idea what the chances are on that, but they're not that high. <laughs> I didn't even need to do very much time traveling. Alright, on the way back, we'll stop by Goldenrod. Because we kind of have to. Ugh! Oh. This has not turned out nicely at all, this journey, but Dana's got a thunderstone for me, so that's all that matters. Okay, that was that was a really fast um, first trip. Going for speedrun strats, obviously. I think I'm slightly behind world record pace right now. next on the chopping block? No one. No one would ever be next on the chopping block. But they're all gonna make- wait, do I go left here? No. I always forget this, but... There's so many little bodies of water with nothing on the other side. Why? Actually, while we're in Goldenrod, there's something else we need to pick up as well. Uh, if you're curious about who I added to the team, though, Griff, to make up for the loss last time. Welcome, Smormu. Basically the same as Alakazam, right? Basically the same thing. Don't worry about it. Who's asked we're gonna be next? Oh, okay. So we're actually gonna take a while to do another gem. Um... Which sucks. But the next three gems all have their level caps right next to each other. Which means I actually need to prepare everything up and up to price to make sure that I can just fly straight to him once Chuck is done. Hypno has more HP. That's the thing, right? Like I keep making fun of Hypno because it's nowhere near as strong. But Hypno will actually survive a hit? Although I actually have no intention of, um, <laughs> of Smarmu making it out of the Chuck fight. Like, it's... <laughs> if Smarmu doesn't make it, Smarmu doesn't make it. Because Hypno doesn't learn Psychic until level 49. Yeah, we have a level cap of 30 followed immediately by a level cap of 31 on the other side of the region. So we actually have to make sure that we've cleared everything out on both sides first. Because otherwise we will overlevel. And that just will happen. This town, I swear, I can never find my way through it. Okay, first things first. I want to get that Thunderstone. I really, really do. I want to go up and get it, but we're not gonna. We're gonna go to Goldenrod first. And we're gonna buy a few repels and as many- we might- we might just buy Pokeballs. I don't know if I can afford Great Balls. I don't know what Lapras's catch rate is, but I'm pretty sure it's higher than I ever expected to be. I always think Lapras is gonna have like a 45 catch rate, but I'm pretty sure it's like a 170, right? It's not that hard to catch. And it's like the last thing I care about catching.
A nickname for Lapras? Not a clue. That'll depend. Well, we're in Goldenrod. Not that way. Not that way. Oh, the city. Imagine having to go down back alleys just to get to your house. What? No. Must be this one then, right? Hey. Sure thing. Why does that only happen sometimes? Bill, I'll be real, the main thing I want is your phone number. Hey, smart I'll be right back, okay? Probably. I would use Eevee, but like, the Eevee lotions just aren't very helpful to me. Jolteon sucks in, in Gen 2. Flareon sucks always. I have enough water types, and Espeon and Umbreon feel like they'll be hell to get based on how Pichu went. Yes, 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 yes. Buddy, you already know I will. Right, need a name for this Eevee. Another dog! Sure. The other thing is that it's a huge pain in the ass to get evolution stones, as you've seen. Um, woofer? <laughs> woofer? <laughs> Casual reminder that it is still an Eevee and not a dog. We can't just name them all after dogs. Give me your phone number. Bruh! Why didn't he- <sighs> Genuinely useful phone number. Um, this is the dumbest thing, right? Because Bill- Bill calls you. I think it's his younger sister. I don't think Bill has a family. I don't think Bill has a family. He lives with his parents. No way is that his child. Alright, goodbye, Woofer. That's like the last Eevee we get, right? We never get another guaranteed Eevee. Oh no, we get one in Gen 7. Well, goodbye, Eevee. I'd rather have Smarmoo. <laughs> Yeah, Bill calls you when your PC box fills up, so you don't accidentally try and catch something that you can't catch, because why is that a thing? Uh, are you the Rappel one? No. I made a lot of money off of those trainers. Rappel. Just regular Rappels, but that's okay. Can I buy like 10? Feels like a lot, but. Ugh! Look, man, I'm never gonna use these X attacks, okay? Same with the X defend. And I'm not 100% sure how much I can stress that the revive is worthless to me. Oh, look at these stupid. Ugh! Filling up my inventory with crap cart. Um, I can afford ten great balls. Yeah, we'll do that. The ten great balls, we'll buy another ten pokeballs. That leaves a set for a little bit. That probably leaves a set for the rest of the game, honestly. 
I mean, it sucks that Smarmu is not going to get Ice Punch and Fire Punch anytime soon, but uh, I don't really care about Smarmu. Okay, so now we want to go back up north. want to grab the Thunderstone. Does Fire it out, I guess, late all that often? I don't think Bill has any friends, let alone... Well, don't get any. I don't know how he manages to be like so friendless and such a loser when he invented the PC storage system. Did you figure out a way to turn animals into zip files? If someone could do that IRL, that'd be really cool. Although the ramifications would be terrifying because it's like. Can you turn people into zip files? How much do we have to pay you for you to not do that? Ugh, this guy's standing in such an obnoxious spot. Okay, that was it. That was what was stopping me from getting back to my Thunderstone. Four bits of grass. That was why I wanted to go and get the repels first. Really? What's wrong with me? Okay, this guy might see me, he might not. He didn't. Give, 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 give. Oh yes, Dana. Number one, Victory Royale indeed. Oh my god, a usable Pokemon! <laughs> I never thought Thorin would become a Raichu. Why are you so fat? <laughs> That's the chunkiest Raichu I've ever seen. I just want to hug him. <laughs> Special attack of 54. Well, I never said he was great. To be fair, Thorin's special attack uh, IV is two. Two. Right, Chungus? <laughs> I'm just proud of him for making it. I really debated allowing myself to use the um, light ball. Specifically for that Pikachu. I could never, I could never change Thorin's name. Smart Fridge, yeah, right? Smart Fridge could absolutely become Magnitude 8. But I could never change Thorin's name. Harry, all you had was a whooper. How did that help you at sea? I thought that was Dana. Oh, she bought me a doll! Why did they cut that from her gold so silver? Like, honestly. I think loads of people forget that the secret base mechanics were actually introduced in Gen 2 and not Gen 3. They were just introduced in your room instead. Right, now we're finally going to Union Cave. Oh my goodness. It only took forever. Uh, nope, this way. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything valuable in the Ruins of Alf. I think there's a Goldberry in there, but that's about it. I don't think there's any TMs. It's not that there's anything really cool, like a Life Orb, like there is in, um, in Gen 4, so... You never know when I'll eat another Purr's Cure Bar. Right, I don't need repels here, but I bought ten of them, damn it. I don't actually know where Lapras is, but I think it's pretty easy to find, right? It's just on the bottom floor and then you surf across and it's like right there. A bunch of neat items. I know that they're like there and they're neat items, but I honestly don't think- I, I know that the only gold berry in the game is there. Is that a cave? It's called Union Cave. 
but um, yeah, that's why I'm headed here. <laughs> I didn't catch anything here earlier. Somehow. I managed to just not find anything I had caught. There is a chance for Onyx in this cave, but I was blessed. <laughs> Look, I don't have a Lapras yet, okay, game? Okay. Oh. I think it's just down this ladder and then surf across. I think that's all it is. I don't think this place is any deeper than that. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh! <laughs> There's a lot of cave down here, it seems. A child of the Onyx is a good Pokémon. And why wouldn't you, right? It's a tough boss Pokémon to get past, one third of the time. 23, man. These trainers are... kinda okay. Just my chalk, no onyx here. Alright, Smarmu, strike your stuff. No amount of defense is gonna help you against that! <laughs> okay, hit yourself, because that'll make me feel a lot better. Okay, I'm, I'm so scared of a speed tie here. Like, yeah, okay, on the one hand, if Smarmu dies, Smarmu dies, right? But on the other hand, I'd rather he didn't die to a Machop. Naturally. Oh great, I'm glad that animation doesn't take forever. Can't wait to see that 700 times over. Thank you, Hiker Leonard. Okay, super cool. I knew I had one. Smarmer, you should be lucky that I'm so generous. Yeah, Onyx having the attack side of butter for you will always weird me out. I know I don't want to be too strong, but like, Judith has an attack side of 90. Brock uses one of them too. I'm not in the right place, am I? Bruh. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna need to look up a map of this place, clearly. This is very in the Nuzlocke spirit, by the way. I assure you. What do you- what do you got, Philip? Oh, I went down the complete wrong place. That's what my issue is. We need to go all the way down to the bottom of the first room, and there's actually a surf bit we go across. But from there, it's really trivial to find Lapras. At least, so... At least it looks like it is. Actually, it might still be a huge pain in the ass. We'll see. Right, Philip, let's be real. Do you just have three Judith? It's just... You could have just let me walk right on by. I was got killed by Zubat. I'm guessing uh, it was a combination of confusion and... I don't know, I guess Leech Life? Maybe Bite Flinches? That's pretty entertaining though. Oh, Graveler! Don't the ruins by the lure? I, I assure you, I have no interest in those ruins, I promise. Myself has four Bite Flinches and one missed attack. But I assure you, okay? Onyx? Fantastic Pokemon. I 
Good job, Philip. Unfortunately, you're leveling me up a lot and it's kind of stressing me out. Here's Mormo. Up front you get. The temptation just fling a rare candy into this thing. I don't need strength to go that way. That's so rude. Why even bother gating this off and surf at that point? See, you actually don't go down the obvious ladder. No, you surf down here. Why? Man, I do not have an escape rope, do I? Oh, I thought that was Lapras. It's not even really Lapras, that is a human person. That's what we're off. I'll take it. They still misspell elixir in Gen 2. I thought that was only a Gen 1 thing. I'll take an elixir though. An elixir and an ether is more than I had in, in Gen 1. Okay, I want that Pokeball. I'm gonna be brutally honest. Okay, maybe I didn't. It's, it's kind of worthless to me. You have to put so much work into catching Lapras, why? This is so needlessly tedious. Ah! Is that lying in the bottom of a cave? Big Geodid fan? I bet you're not. God damn it, Emma. They're not down here. Oh, I have Thunder Punch! Level 28! Well, we'll see how this goes, I guess. Cool. Nice casual three-hit KO from Smarmu. Ah! Elite Rain Dance Double Slap strats. Okay, I understand. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Emma. I'm just not sure why you're putting it down. I'm picking it up, though. Smarmu. Smarmu. Um, I have the dig TM actually, don't I? Yeah, we can get out of here. Even if I don't have an escape rope, which I don't think I do. No, we're using... <laughs> right. We're using the dig TM then. Another option I could try to go for is uh, head across. What unnecessary rejection! Got 20 female. Mm, not great. We'll see. Female does mean it's inefficient as far as lappers are concerned. Put her to sleep. Let's see how much a headbutt does. I do not want to raise a leaf out. That was a crit. Okay. I probably could have raised a leaf to them. Well, that means I can hit it with one more headbutt and I feel safe with that. I'm not gonna hit it with two. Still asleep? Okay. Sure thing, Lapras. Do you just want to get in the first ball? That would be. <laughs> that would be flawless. Okay. Oh, Lapis learns some ass moves. But it learns Ice Beam, and that's what matters because nothing else gets Ice Beam. That might actually be true. That might actually be a fact. I'm not sure if any other Pokemon gets Ice Beam that I can catch in this journey. Lapis might be the only use of Ice Beam in this entire game. What not being a TM does to a move. Oh. 
Come on, Lapis. Come on. Dang, I'm glad I brought these. I'm glad I brought these great balls, eh? They're really, really coming in handy. Stay in the ball. I've got to. I've got to hold down the A button, right? That doesn't work. I don't. I don't remember what the. I never did it, right? Even as a child, it was obviously complete garbage to me. Oh no! Put it back to sleep. Sleep powder is definitely a hundred accuracy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it always hits. Don't worry about it. Okay. You know you want to, Lapras. Like, that's the thing here. Slap in the air button. Oh, slap. Oh, I, I have to mash it, do I? Okay. I wasn't mashing fast enough, clearly. If I don't catch this thing... I mean, okay, I didn't fish it up, but I'm tempted to try the lure ball just for, like, the aesthetics that don't exist in Gen 2. Because all Pokemon are just in the same ball in this game. Oh my god, what is happening? Lapras, don't you have an okay catch rate? I'm sure you did. Lapras. Oh, it's got an ass catch rate. Okay, it does have a catch rate of 45. I thought you had it. So did I. If I don't catch this thing after all this, I swear. That's going to be so tragic. Hey! This gentle Pokemon loves to give people rides and provides a very comfortable way to get around. Alright, need a nickname for Lapras. Who will probably see use despite the fact it means we'll have three water types. I just, I really need an ice type for the end. Mercy? Am I missing something with that? It works for me, right? But... Oh, no, that's just me. That's what I get for trying to do it with one hand. Head across the Mercy, and also not one I'm aware of. Okay, we want Dig. Oh, I hate doing this. Like, Chikrita, you better not die now. You had better not. Let's come see the fairy. Oh, definitely. I mean, I'm using it as a fairy right now. I guess we're getting a rage, huh? Just nice to have coverage against electric types. Even if Dig is hot trash in Gen 2 and 3. <laughs> no! God damn it! I'm here now! Oh! I've used Dig for no reason! The Ruins of Alf call to all- all roads lead to the Ruins of Alf. Oh, there's no, like, fast way back. Now I have to just go all the way through the ruins. For some reason I had it in my head that Dig took you to the last Pokemon Center. How wrong I was, eh? Good for Rapel. Oh, Pokemon Center right here. Shiny so blue? Oh nice, nice! I love Shiny so blue. Got that nice gold color to it. I just like Swablu in general. 
But I think Altaria manages to not lose anything in its shiny coloration, which is all you want, you know? Maybe it would have looked cooler if they changed the white to like a black for storm clouds, but nah, I doubt it. Look at this outbreak for two minutes. Outbreaks, outbreaks hit different. Wait, hello. <gasps> Frida? Frida of Friday? Thanks. Why didn't you just give me nothing? A lot, by the way. An outbreak? Oh god, you mean you didn't like defeat anything? You just went to an outbreak and just lurked? That is okay. Yeah, that that's insanely lucky. Never defeat any of them. I can't imagine doing full odds training hunting. It's cash at least. True, I could just sell the poison barb. Like, none of my Pokemon will ever, ever, ever hold that. I can't think of a single Pokemon that would want to hold poison barb over any other item. Poison's just not a good type at this point. Named her Q-tip. <laughs> Please don't insert the Swablu into your inner ear. Okay. We're closing in on actually just continuing the game finally. Oh my goodness. That Lapras was one hell of a detour. Of course, last tile of grass. I mean, there was a part of me that was kind of hoping I might catch a shiny at some point in this run. Um, Crystal just felt like the game it would happen in. I don't know why, because it's not like it has a high shiny encounter rate. But there's something about Crystal, you know? It feels like if they were going to be anywhere, this is where they'd be. This is where they'd be hiding. It's a lot of experience, don't they? I guess while I was in Goldenrod, I should have bought moves for Smarmu, but um, I didn't, so. Sue me. Dana! 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 There's no way. Okay. So that's the other thing she can do, that's why I saved, because I did not want to have to walk back and forth every single time. We never get a lot of phone calls from Dana on account of her being the only person with my number. You ever catch any shinies? Um, I've not ever caught- well, okay, obviously I caught the Gyarados, right? But I've not ever caught a shiny in Crystal outside of the Gyarados. Um, I've caught a few- I've caught a few just random shinies throughout the series, though. I caught a Maddle and Emerald once. And then nothing in Gens 4 or 5. And then in Gen 6 I caught a random Scatterbug. I am not going into Mount Mortar, by the way, you can't make me. I refuse. Uh, right, anyone who's not holding an item here, have a berry. Because my god, I am not going to need berries from here on out. Damn you, Frida Friday! Damn you! Whatever, I'm never gonna have a strategy that involves it in burns. You know. Tentacle? I think it's always tentacle on the water surface, right? I am wrong. Alright, complete garbage, let's go.
Smarmu. Smarmu, come on, man. Smarmu, you can't do anything right. Smarmu! Smarmu! There we go. <laughs> what a good use of a berry, eh? I don't think these take up item space. I'm pretty sure they take up their own space, so Pokeball do. Because it's very important I catch this Goldeen, you understand. Fine, you want to be that way about it? Do what you like. Existence is pain. Right, fine, we'll headbutt it. I just didn't want to one-shot it, you know? But it's Smarmu, why was I afraid that was gonna happen? Alright. Slight waste of an Ultra Ball, but whatever. I guarantee I would not have used it otherwise. I don't think aside from the Master Ball I flung anything but Pokeballs in yellow. Alright, Golding name, Golding name. Staring at this thing, it's like, what do you call a fish? It's like, there's a there's a pretty high temptation to just call it fish and just move on with my life. Fish face? <laughs> sure. That, that might as well be a fish name. Hey, Smarma, try harder this time, please. You have a quillfish, so you should be a nice easy one. Barracuda. I mean, that's just so similar to the actual Barracuda Pokemon. Yeah, I remembered you had a quillfish because I have no life. Pokemon is my blood. It's in my veins. It's my love, my dream, and my sweat. Oh, hey, do you want a poison barb? I can power up that poison sting for you. All the way from 15 power to 16. It will never make a difference. Okay, Smarma, do you want to hit level 26 for me? That is a good Smarma. Okay, you had a bit less terrible though. I mean, you're still. Terrible and creepy, but whatever. No, don't wiggle your nose at me! Don't smell me through the screen! <laughs> it's your secret place in the middle of the street? Like, buddy, it's not like you found a nook. What's your problem, Sheen? Do you want a poison barb? Just happy to see you. Right, if I was ever happy to see someone, I would definitely not just start sniffing them. I strongly recommend that no one ever does that if they're happy to see someone. Just a generally terrible idea. And Smarmy, you need Ice Punch so badly. I may as well fling Fire Punch on you too. Definitely Alakazam. Don't worry about it. 
use my moonstone? Yeah, buddy, if you had one, why didn't you use it? Unfortunately, the only person in this world who'll ever find a moonstone is my mother. So Pokemon that are all with a moonstone are basically out. I still can't get over the fact this is what you're supposed to do first. Before you go down to Olivine and do all of the lighthouse stuff, you're supposed to come here. Why? Who would ever do that? No one. Sorry, Smarma, it's just, oh my god, you make me sad. I did? Really? You came here first? Even though this path's locked off until you get Surf and the other path's accessible right away? I've already got one of them. Oh man, Surf takes like half an hour to use. I'm actually not sure if there's anything we can catch here, apart from Venomat. And Venomat's good, don't get me wrong. Which is... I hate that fact. But it's like the only Pokémon that learns Psychic before the end of the game. I.e. it's like... okay, cool. I.e. it's like the only Pokemon that learns Psychic before Bruno, where you would want Psychic- It's level 15! What is this? Any chance. Like, any chance at all. Well, I don't think Bite would take it out from here. What am I supposed to do with a level 15 Venomat at this point in the game, though? No one's adding that to their team. Don't lie to me. Venomat's actually one of my favourite Gen 1 Pokémon. Oh, yep, that's what Venomat looks like. <laughs> there it is. It all has Weedly Glory. But yeah, I love Venomat. Um... I don't even know why. Actually, I do know why. I got the uh, the Pokemon Fit, the little. I, I bought the Venonut one specifically because it was so. In fact, is it behind me? No, it's not behind me today. But um, the plushes I have up there. Weedle? You know, why not? Uh, the plushes I have up there, I got one of Venonut specifically because it looked so fluffy, and it is. And it just made me love Venonut. I see you. You trick me now. And I do want to fight as few trainers as possible. Um... I know it's not the McDonald's character, the purple one. Well, the only one that I know is Ronald McDonald. I was gaslit by America for years. I thought Ronald McDonald was real. It turned out he's not. Oh, I could have gotten screwed! Noctile would have been so bad. Gen 2 just really is full of just the worst Pokemon. Like, there's no excuse for Noctowl to be so terrible. You could have at least given it Psychic really early on or something. Or uh, at all, because I don't even think it learns it in Gen 2. That's a Slowbro. That's a full Slowbro. It's a level 19 Slowbro. Ben, you're not playing by the rules here.
I got so scared, I was like, oh my god, has he got like a level 40 Pokemon? Wait, out of my depth? <sighs> Terrifying. Well, I've seen the little loading icon on my mouse cursor and being like, hmm, my computer's about to do something. Yep, there it is. <laughs> There's supposed to be to turn off those updates. I also wish I didn't need to be afraid of fighting trainers just in case. Because I know it looks like we're miles away from 30, but we're just not. I didn't hear about this from anyone. I just walked up to Lake of Rage. And dead. I am not messing about with getting thrashed or whatever that thing has. Gyarados isn't good in Gen 2. It's not special either. Everyone can get the red Gyarados. Just pretend it doesn't exist, it's fine. I a trainer with considerable skill. Yeah, I had my Raichu use Thunderbolt. Am I just supposed to pretend he didn't do that? Max Ether. Great. I'm really glad I've got an Ether and a Lexer and a Max Ether. I really wanted all those items taking up space. You're a trainer? Why? You didn't have to be a trainer. No one no one made you that way. You chose that willingly. Damn you, Camper Spencer. <laughs> oh no. My right choose one weakness. Ground types. I'm determined to get as much stat experience on Thorum as possible, but Raichu learns nothing to hit ground types with. I mean, okay, it does, right? It learns, like, return and stuff, but it learns nothing that I really want to waste a move slot on. Why bother? Actually, return, return could be good with how high the friendship has to be on it. I just don't want to stay out against ground types anyway, you know? The other move I'm considering is Iron Tail. Especially since Iron Tail is 110 base power. Knew it. Knew he'd end off with another ground type. Just knew it. Why are they level 17 though? Morty's Ace was a level 25 Gengar. Who did this? What am I gonna get out of that Sand Slash? There is no human being who has ever struggled against that Sand Slash. If you struggle against that Sand Slash, how are you playing this game? Oh, Ghost Driven, welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> Did you hear the men- yeah, you heard the mention of Gengar? You were like, my time has come. <laughs> move Smormu of all people up front because I kind of want Smormu to get some stat experience before this next gem. The Smormu is actually going to be important against Chuck. Remember that time the champion just used Hyper Beam on a random guy?
Oh, this place sucks. Oh, I forgot. I forgot all about the stupid radio tower as well. Oh, this portion of the game is such a slog. At least we can catch a coffin. I mean, we definitely can't, right? It'll definitely use self-destruct, but... At least there's a theoretical world in which we can catch a coffin. Jeff Smarmu, big thumbs up for you. Why is confusion all the way down there? Okay, let me let me just reorder that real quick. <laughs> yeah, Ghost Dreadman, how are you today? I have to fight two of them, right? Yeah. Freaking Grunt Hog Day. Zubat's good, we want more speed. I mean, Zubat doesn't exactly give a ton of speed, that's not really how stat experience works, but. In, in my head, right? In my head. They didn't really nerf the psychic type very hard, so. You still end up being pretty okay. That's the only statue we to. Okay, this guy down here. How do I want to take him out? Unlike pretty much every other trainer, I remember what that goon has. Because he caused me to white out twice in the present one. Because his squad is just so miserable. Everyone else around here is terrible, and then you just got this guy rocking up with his three Magnemite. Who does that, Jed? Do you know how hard it is to kill a Magnemite with just present? And they've all got Thunder Wave and Super Sonic! Why? I agree very strongly with that magnitude 10. I just realized something. <laughs> I don't have a flying type. We're walking from point A to point B and we're liking it. <laughs> Jed, never talk to me again. You're just the worst, the worst person in the world. Hate Jed with a passion. God, spit. Yeah, okay. You can keep that, Jed. You can keep that. I know there's a way to walk across the danger tiles without um, encountering anything, but I don't know what it is. Second hyper potion? Okay. I'll take two. It's less stuff I need to buy at the end, you know? Nugget? Oh, I'll take a nugget. Absolutely take a nugget. Um... <laughs> you know what? You used up your item earlier, Smarmu. Here you go. You did this to yourself. 
Enjoy the poison barb. Yes, I'm fi No, they're not. Lance. That's the worst place healing spot I've ever seen in my life. This place does look interesting, I'll give it that. But I need to be careful while I go through it. Because I don't want to fight too many trainers. I keep saying that, but then they're out here rocking level 18 Pokemon, and I'm like... I'm so thankful Thunderbolt for some reason has 15 PP. It doesn't deserve it. Because Ice Beam and Flamethrower both only have 10. I've never understood why Thunderbolt gets more. It's the same with Thunder. Fire Blast and Blizzard both have 5, but Thunder has 10. I don't get it. Absolutely bizarre attempt at balancing. By which I mean there wasn't one. I guess it maybe harkens back to Gen... Um, to Gen 1, huh? Because in Gem 1, Thunder was, like, the worst of those moves, so it makes sense it would have the most PP. Oh, Golbat. Oh, that is ideal. Yes, yes, yes. Give me your stats, Golbat. Give me your delicious stat experience. Thorin needs everything he can have. I'm so happy that after uh, evolving, he immediately became, like, actually quite good. I am not happy that I don't have a flying type. Yeah, I know, but I don't know where they are. Don't you have one of the passwords? Yeah, and I think the other password's like way on the bottom floor. I think I need to go like all the way around the outside. God, the female team rocket sprite is just so... Top tier. Top tier sprite. It's just... I, there's very little to say, right? This portion of the game is terrible. How did this get past anything? You just gotta plow through so many really weak Pokemon. I'm in no danger. But you can't get here any earlier than this? Absolutely bizarre. Like, it's a gloom, oh no, a grass type, but whatever, it's eight levels below me for some reason. Oh man, am I gonna lose to Absorb? Absorb has a cool animation, actually. That did more than I expected it to, hold on. <laughs> Didn't do anywhere near enough, but still. Yeah, thankfully, this is at least a lot shorter than I remember it being, and I don't mind the radio tower. I know the radio tower is commonly classed as, like, the other big slog of the Johto games, but I don't mind it anywhere near as much. Yeah, there's no getting past you, was there? Yuck, 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 yuck! Wait, really? That's it? What? Did Hargold Soul Silver make this place huge or something? Am I losing it? <laughs> Is this it? <laughs> what? Oh, okay. I thought this section was longer. I've been smack talking it for no reason. Huh. Whoops. Wait, no, you said you gave me a password? Uh, okay. X special, that can just stay where it is. TM? 
Protein. Ooh, I want that. Uh, potion. I don't know who gets the protein. I don't really have very many physical attackers. Oh, actually. Hmm. I think I give it to Strontium for Sludge Bomb coverage. Like, is that a Strong Team or Smart Fridge? And quite frankly, Smart Fridge is fine. So yeah, I think it's Strong Team. I think Strong Team gets that. Oh, okay, well. Oh, I need to actually get to the boss's room now, though. What a weird layout. Oh my god, that's garbage. I'm just gonna toss that before I forget about it. right here, okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> I fight you in here? No, 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 he destroyed your po- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I do not remember fighting you here. Ultra Ball, okay. Mix up the one I used earlier. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Those are terrible passwords, by the way. He's been in training? <laughs> Is that what he said? He basically just put up an out to lunch sign and left? That I kicked his ass three years ago? Alright. Zubat! Zubat! Are you trying? What am I supposed to think of that? Well, at least that's a Pokemon. Kind, kind, kinda. I really like how Surf makes the text go all wavy as well. I think that's my favourite part of it. Oh, it's actually faster than me. Man, making the text go wavy looks so cool. I don't know, I just- I, I really like that. Like, normally when an effect like that happens, it moves over the text because the text is on top of everything else, you know? Coffin. Whatever, man. If there was ever time to send in Smart Fridge, it was now. What are you gonna do? Poison him? No. Okay, cool. I'm gonna be so sad when Levitate exists. Oh, it has Tackle. That means it doesn't have Self-Destruct. I wasn't sure what level Coffin learned self-destruct on. I thought it was earlier than this. Harden? Don't you already have defense, Carl? What? What? <laughs> Why would you need both? This is like the fastest Team Rocket dungeon ever. Oh my goodness. Why'd they make it so long and winding in Heart Gold Soul Silver?
Like, that's it, we're done. Oh, Ariana, I forgot all about you. Okay, Gloom is not a great match up here. I actually forgot about Ariana. Well, hopefully she leads with Murkrow. Fact about Lickitung. Uh, Lickitung was actually able to learn Rollout <coughs> in Gen 2 and Gen 3. Um, it is the only Pokemon that has been able to meet its evolution criteria in every generation before that criteria became its evolution criteria, if that makes sense. Even though it evolves with Rollout, they messed up and it was able to learn Rollout in Gens 2 and 3, the only other generations Rollout existed in, before it finally used it to evolve in Gen 4. Because it's a TM in Gen 2 for some ungodly reason, and it's a move to move in Gen 3. I don't know how they slipped up like that. Swineup can learn Ancient Power, but only in Gen 2, I think. So they slipped up a little bit there, but it's a huge mess up with Lickitung because it's all over its moveset. Go back to my Gligar hunt and Platinum for the first 10 months, wish anyone found was like, where the hell have you been? Hey, Gligar, top tier Pokemon to be hunting, right? Gliscor is my absolute favourite. Top boy Gliscor. Sh Why are you shiny hunting it in Platinum though? Do you hate yourself? Like, Platinum's Gligar sprite is so blue. You're gonna be squinting at every single Gligar like, hmm. <laughs> That's the game that I have. I mean, okay, there's like not very many other games you can hunt Gligar in, I know that much. Believe me, I'm very aware, Gligar's not a very accessible Pokemon. It's just a weird one to pick, in my opinion. Oh man, it's got a dark move. But it did a lot of damage, actually. Not as much as that, though. You go for it, Murkrow. You go for it. DTQ. Dream, 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 dream Team Quest? What was I to use it? Gliscar is such a fun Pokemon. It hits hard enough, it's fast enough, it's quite bulky. Just such a good stat spread. It's fun to use, I love the design, it's cool, it manages to still be cute. Gliscar, in my opinion, is like one of the very few perfect Pokemon. Gligar does it too. Gligar also has that same thing that's designed. But I think it's, uh, it's more on the doofy side. Uh, Lance is gonna kill so many of my Pokemon. Which is a kick because it couldn't learn fly, but Giratina is also on the Dream Team quest, can learn fly. It doesn't need fly. It just needs earthquake. The flying typing is purely defensive, unless you want to give it aerial ace. I'm so glad they gave it acrobatics in Gen 5. Finally got something. Okay, smart fridge. Time to strut your stuff. I can technically catch one of these. But that feels like a terrible idea. I hate type overlaps, but. But that's not a type overlap. Yeah, I can definitely catch one of these, but I don't care to. Also, Ghost Trap, and I hope my Lickitung fact was good enough. Like, I have kind of a fact about, like, most Pokemon, but some of them I feel are potentially less interesting if people already know them. I mean, I guess there's the fact that in Gen 1, Lickitung couldn't learn Lick. That's also weird to me. But I feel like more people know that. Why does Electrode wing at me like that? Sliding up to me like a sleazy guy in a bar. Okay, I don't know that they all have Sonic Boom. Secondary part, remember to learn Fly? I mean, I don't have one that can learn Fly in this run. I am stressed right now. Okay, just Sonic Boom. Nah, you don't you don't need fly. Smart Fridge, why are you doing this to me? 
<laughs> Smart French, why have you done this? Man, if this thing has self-destruct... Okay, if, if Smart French killed another of my Pokémon, I would not have been okay with it. So far, every death in this run has been Smart French's fault. <laughs> I really Pokemon game that fast travel, and I'm having to do it right now. It's uh, it's not great. Okay, I have a super potion. God, I can't wait until I learn earthquake. Don't wink at me. I don't know you. Oh, I outspeed this one somehow. Okay. Casual. Fa oh, quick claw! I forgot you had that. Because it doesn't say it procs in this game. Flying types should be able to fly by nature because they are birds. I mean, not all flying types are birds. Not all birds are flying types. Whirlpool? Oops, watch decks for it to carry people across water, it's called surfing, yet it doesn't know how to surf by nature. <laughs> Lapras is always weird in me that it doesn't learn it by level up, even after they removed surf as an HM. Thanks, Lance. Fans. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad, that dungeon. I thought that was going to be way more tedious, and it was fine. I'd like to give apology to the to the residents of Mahogany Town for me thinking that their town was complete crap. Pants. Oh, you got it, you got it! <laughs> oh, I loved looking around you so much when I first discovered it. Um, okay. This feels like a terrible idea to bring an ivy sword into the ice gym, but whatever. Yeah, I'm just cleaning out the gym a little bit so I don't have to fight trainers when I come back. Oh my god, what is this puzzle? This is not the ice gym I know. Right, well, most ice types at this point are weak to grass, which is my logic here. It's not even... Ronald! <laughs> Ronald, that's not even an ice type! <sighs> Top 10 most tragic misses. Yeah, Scyther can't learn cut by nature, right? But Zangoose can't learn cut. That's a full stop at the end of that sentence. Zangus just can't learn it. At all. It never has been able to. Zangus can't get cut. Full on dugong. Okay. Now, does this guy just have Price's team? Lame if true. I just switched Thorin into a hip. How he's grown. <laughs> oh, I've wasted these berries. Man, there was nothing else I could do though, they were taking up so much space in my bag. Yeah, I thought he was going to have an interesting final Pokemon, but no. I love that one pink pixel on the side of Sphiel's mouth there. 
Champs all things being strong and powerful, yet doesn't learn strength by nature. Right, but not learning strength by nature, sure, okay? Right, like, I get that because it was an HM for so long. Wait, what are you talking about? Machamp does learn strength by nature. It's literally Machamp's signature move since it stopped being an HM. What are you talking about? It's the only Pokemon that gets it! How did you mess that up? <laughs> shameful, Griff. Shameful. Sorry, strong team. You can't stay up front. I just need to clean out these. I, I just need to clean out this gem. Because otherwise I'll come back and I might accidentally level up and I don't want to do that. Classic Clarissa, am I right? I mean, like, I'm going to level up off of these goons. Is this Dugong stronger than Prices? It's just, that's a bit sad if true. Ed, but, oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah, I did the whole 20 damage. I'm so proud of Thorin. <laughs> what actually evolving does to you? Like, Raichu's still not a good Pokemon, but oh my god, it's so much better than Pikachu, it's not even funny. Hopefully the next person has a Swine up. Blinky. <laughs> this is- no time for games here. This is Pokemon. Swine Just reminds me so much of a guinea pig, you know? Swine Up's always been one of my favourites, the way that it just snuffles and squirples. Um, I used to really like Mama Swine, but Swine Up definitely overtook it. Man, this gym's just kind of working out for me. Like, no one had Swine Up while I had my Raichu out. Do you see how serious we are? I see how radical we are. Oh man, there's one more trainer. Uh, do I need to fight them? Uh, I might. I can't see the solution to this puzzle right now. There was too many text boxes in the way. Full on jinx, okay. So bite is 120. No, surf is stronger than bite. Bite is actually not worth having anymore. That's tragic. If only crunch was a thing, right? I've really grown to love Croconaw. Like, I always like to- oh my god, that did nothing. Okay, Jinx has the physical defense of a wet paper bag, so maybe Dig is the way to go here. I am starting to think I should replace Bite with, um... Strength, though, later on. Gosh, this is- hmm. Maybe Bite is the way. I mean, it's definitely not, right? But maybe it is. What a needlessly difficult fight. See, the way Jinx looks here, right? It looks like it's got like a little... You know, like, octillery mouth. If it was less human in that way, that would work a lot better, I think. Scary face, yeah, okay. Make your face scary in your own time, yeah? So 
one. I need to get my directions in to get to that tile. How do I get to that tile? I can't... Because you can't see the whole puzzle at once, it's actually kind of annoying. How would I get there? I'm trying to figure out how to solve it without fighting that guy. I assume it's possible. Oh well, I think we're just fighting him at this point. I can't find a solution without fighting him, so... Well, I can't find a solution full stop, actually. This lets me here, but uh, this goes down- right, and then you go up here. Okay, I might as well just fight this guy, because the odds are that I'll bump into him on the way to Price, so whatever. <laughs> I love that I'm coming here, cleaning out Price's gym, and then just leaving. Just completely leaving. <sighs> um, surface is still stronger than bite, even though it's resisted. Same type of tap bonus is a silly thing. Supersonic has a tiny chance to hit me when the AI uses it. I like Shelter as well. So many Pokemon you just don't think about, but then you see it and you're like, oh, I like that one. Oh god! Okay, well, Shelter was a two hit KO. This is probably only a three hit KO. Because Cloyster's. Ah, Cloyster's so much weaker in this game than it was in Gen 1. Oh, physical special split, thank you. Oyster's dope. It's just, I love Shelder's tongue. I just love the... Shelder! As well, the, the cry it has. Yeah, I love the tongue. Cloyster is kinda, I, I like how creepy it is, but I almost, I, I don't think its face was supposed to be a peril. Like, I think it was supposed to be a void. What you just see the peering eyes and mouth coming out of. But that just became impossible for them to capture well, so they turned it into a peril. And of course there's the fact that Cloister should probably not be oriented in that way. So you should probably have turned it turned it onto its side, like it is in, in Gem 1. What do you mean? Well, you see how Shelter isn't a pearl on the inside, right? It's just a black void with eyes. You know, tangle it. You don't see what's inside the veins. You just see the eyes poking out. Like a cartoon cartoon eyes in the darkness. When all you can see are the whites of the eyes. And, you know, you, you have the traditional plink plink when they blink. In older cartoons, I feel. I don't, I don't know if it's really a thing nowadays. Um, I feel like that's what we were supposed to get with Cloyster. Just like Ghastly also wasn't supposed to be a ball. It was just supposed to be a face in gas. Amazing how many Pokemon just turned into balls in Gen 1. Because they couldn't figure out a better way to do it. Not ball monsters. <laughs> Dodo. Yeah, Dodo. <laughs> okay, I I think Dodo is the is the most underdesigned Pokemon, right? Like even Voltorb, I think there's more going on with than Dodo. I can draw a Dodo in like three seconds. You see how quickly I can draw a Voltorb, okay? Right, that's my Voltorb done. So I, that was also only three seconds, to be fair. Dodo. Okay, I think that was like four or five seconds, but it's done. <laughs> Dodrio at least has a little bit more going on with it, but like, bizarre Pokemon. I love having Dodrio. I had a Dodrio in the original attempt, the original Gen Lock run, where we died to Whitney, which did not happen this time somehow. Um, but sadly, D Dodo did not did not make it very far, which it got really unlucky. Level fourteen. Level 14. I have a theory that you were originally supposed to be able to come here through Mount Mortar rather than surfing. 
And that's why all the trainers over here are just so weak. The cutest animations get off my lawn fishing. Oh, you see it as that. I, I don't see it as that. I see it as that. <laughs> I'm not okay with it. <laughs> I'm gonna start seeing it the way you see it now. It makes my life a better better place to be. Okay, strong town. Come up front. I mean, we could go through Mount Mortar, um, but all that's in there is Tyrogue, and Tyrogue's kind of bad. Isn't Suicune down there, by the way? Like, I'm sure that's a thing. Well, that might be a Heart Gold Soul Silver thing only. Hey, Dana. Dana, you already- we agreed to battle. Did you even have a Psyduck? I, like, thanks for the Thunderstone. I don't remember anything else about you. Okay, so there is a Mart here. And I have not sold my Nugget yet, because I'm very forgetful. Sadix in the top percentage. Oh no, we've turned last Dana into Youngster Joey. I mean, I could just delete her number. I mean, she must have had a Psyduck, right? I'm gonna assume that it's me that forgot, and it's not her that forgot, because it's really weird if she forgot. <laughs> That's definitely the optimal way through Mahogany- uh, Ecrity. <laughs> Hi, Dana! <sighs> no time today, I'll maybe battle you next time? Yeah, sure. Yep, definitely. Okay, these trainers actually kind of suck, because as I recall, while you can skip them on the way down, you can't skip them on the way back. I do love that Mimikyu face on his shirt, though. Oh, I had one of those for five seconds. It was garbage. Derek, you were kind of bad. Oh, it's Mom. I thought it was Dana again. It's like, Dana, chill! And you see what she keeps buying me. Yeah, also, I am minted, as I thought. No, I'll just leave Strontium up front. I was gonna switch in Smarmu, but whatever. Oh, they moved the trainers around. Okay, cool. Already in Olivine. This game goes fast. I. <laughs> I love the humor again. It's like, I suppose we did only see each other five minutes ago. I choose to imagine that Chris isn't actually a silent protagonist, and I actually just have no interest in anything he says whenever he shows up. So I just stare at him silently until he awkwardly walks away. He's trying to get a rise out of me and I just won't give him it. Yeah, I need some more Great Balls, honestly. Tragic what happened to my previous set. Okay. Tried to be last week, smell you later. I want a silver remote. Who would ever have a silver remote, though? Who likes the guy enough? I do. True. The first two generals. I'm trying to figure out why he didn't fight me. Also, I am loving the fact that there is no um, elevator. I like silver, I always did, but his team is just terrible. 
This team is awful. How does he how does he manage to have a Kadabra and a Haunter and yet have a bad team? I'll tell you why. It's because he has a Kadabra and a Haunter. Where's Gengar? Where's Alakazam? What was he thinking? Or did I run using his team from the comic? A fun. Does he have a better team there? His team just got so much worse in Heart Gold Soul Silver because the only one of his six Pokemon that's fully evolved is his starter, and that's just sad. I mean, okay, yeah, I know why Golbat's not fully evolved, right? And I know that he can't find anyone to trade his, to trade with for his friends. And I know Magneton can't evolve. And I know that you know, you're kind of just left with Sneasel, and Weavile's not there. But oh my god, <sighs> this team's still so bad. It's like Wally. Wally's team's terrible. See, that's a pretty good team. I don't know why he didn't have more dark types. They would have suited him. Gyarados also suits him really well. This team's just so bad. It doesn't help that it's not like the Johto starters are very good. So his team's just bad for no reason. Correct, Huey. Pokemon he returned or traded that I can swap it into the sixth lot. I mean, yeah, or you could, you know, just <laughs> just slap in something garbage as well. He'd probably have used it. Hey, Growlithe. To be fair to him, actually, there's not that many good Pokemon in, in Gen 2. I can't. Like, and he picked, I think, some of the best ones in game. And his manga seems way better. Like, Sneasel's bad, yeah, but... Ugh! Magnitude 4, every time! Alright. That would've, you know... I'm just, I'm just saying, Smartfetch, I'm just saying. Magnitude's a weird move. Despite being a Gen 2 move, it actually can't be learned by any Gen 2 Pokemon. Oh god. Smart French woke up and chose violence. Man, once we're out of Gen 1 and Gen 2, I feel like Gen 3 is where you finally get into like, you know, the games are paced properly. Like crawl into a red mist. I had it coming, I swear. Even smile, he says. Oh no, she won't even smile. I like Krabby. Krabby's such a doofy little lad. Then again, I just like crabs. Well, the way it snapped its pincers, Krabby's the best voice in the cartoon. Man, I love that Krabby so much, but at the same time, like, I felt like Ash didn't learn anything from that, you know? Krabby just kicked so much ass. Still, I love that episode. I don't know, it made, it made me like Kingler. And I felt bad that Kingler, Ash's Kingler, never made like a single reappearance. It shows up in the Johto League, and immediately just gets blown up by some random Voltorb that it was trying to help catch. It's too powerful. Y'all aren't ready for Ash's Kingler. Gen 34. That's normally an okay move, right? So what trash is it here? And 
Gen 2 TMs hit different. If you're not familiar with them, and you're only familiar with modern games, I really recommend you look through the list of Gen 2 TMs, and you go, Ha! Huh. Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, and Ice Punch. Great! I love them being TMs. Fantastic! Defense Curl? Did we need Defense Curl to be a TM? Did we need to be in the post-game? You go, Smarmu. And it's actually kind of nice to fight trainers for once. Like, unironically. Just actually get some stat experience as opposed to just leveling from rare candies. Because just leveling from rare candies makes this harder. Rare candies? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that guy. Richard Andes himself. Whoever he might be. Smarmo cannot be undone. Oh, you you better believe it. Welcome and done. Sp speaking of done. <laughs> oh, cool. I'll add it to the pile. Yeah, welcome in. This is a Pokemon series gen lock. Oh, I have no idea what the way through this place is. I guess I fall down here. Um... I made it through yellow and we're currently in crystal. We've had four deaths total. Which is tragic. But we're we're doing fine. We're in the weird part where all of the levels are so close together that you kinda just have to do everything and then do three gems back to back. Smarmu. Smarmu though. Smarmu. My, uh, my, 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 my Kadabra is no longer with us, which is why, <laughs> which is why we're using Smarmu. Because I want a Psychic type for Chuck. Okay, and this should be the top. My game Magento is tough. It's, it's, it's tough. On your mental state. More than it is difficult, I would say. Um, but at the same time, you can totally slip up here. There's a few Pokemon with explosion and stuff. Abra is my favorite. Yeah. I was so happy to catch an Abra in yellow. And of course, Alakazam just stomped. There's no shortcut, is there? I am walking all the way back up here next time. Oh, there's a sh well, there's a shortcut down. Um, yeah, unfortunately I got an unfavorable roll against Morty. Uh, I did not KO with Psybeam against his Gengar. And he did KO with Shadow Ball. I did the calculations afterwards. I don't like to do them beforehand, but I did the calculations afterwards and it was a- I had like a 75% chance of getting the KO. So that's tragic. Okay, but now we just need to go to Cian Wood. And then we can fight Chuck, and then we go all the way back up to Price, and then we come all the way back down to Jasmine. To tell the truth, I could probably just fight Jasmine on the way. But I don't want to risk it because I don't want to over level. I use my first super. Pump. And I haven't caught a Pokemon here, but I really don't care. I have a leaf swarm up front, actually. Which is a very interesting generation for challenges. Yeah. It's a very difficult generation to play casually, though, I think. Maybe that's just me.
you know what, Chuck gives us fly, and while we don't have a flying type, I'm sure we've caught one at some point, right? Like, we've, we caught a Hoot Hoot, didn't we? So we can't, we can use fly, we just can't use it easily. We have to switch back in and out of our boxes. Good job, Smarmy. Oh. I just have the same base power, which is annoying. Ah, uh, Confusion being your only Psychic move to level 49 is so dire. We'll make do. I'm not really planning on Smarmu making it through Chuck, but it's really not the end of the world to me if he doesn't. Like, we're probably gonna replace him with Lapras immediately anyway, which is why I haven't bothered buying the other elemental punches for him. Three water types is... Mm, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, see what's like right here, right? Like, it's actually... I remember it being really far, and it's just not. <laughs> Warl Islands, I am not going there. God, that place sucks. I will, you will never catch me playing Silver or Soul Silver. I am never going through the World Islands. Soul Silver's the one I got when I was a child. Because um, I was really excited about it. And it's like, I, I don't know, I just preferred the color over gold, I guess. I don't remember why I picked Soul Silver or Heart Gold. But oh my god, the World Islands suck. I don't think anyone likes the Warl Islands. I refuse to believe it. Okay, Smormo, you're actually doing a bit too well here, because the level cap is 30 for Chuck. So, given that you're going to sweep through the entire gym, I kind of need you to hold back a little bit here. But I want you to get as much stat experience as you can since you've just joined us. Twenty-nine already. Speed of forty-six isn't exactly great. Does it only take one super appell to get to CM mode? Okay, slightly farther away than I thought. Oh no it's not. Um where <laughs> You can tell me it's here all you like, where is it? Bruh! <laughs> okay, there's no Mart here, if I recall correctly. Oh, I don't want- I don't want it. No, I- I'm good. No, it's okay. You enjoy it. No, I'm fine. Trust me, no one's gonna come for Shucky. Do not worry about that. I promise. No one would ever. This is the worst pharmacy I've ever seen! This is just some dude's house. No, this isn't a pharmacy, this is a drug trade. Some kind shades in his house? Just sliding it over the table? <gasps> Bruh! I go star looking weirdo. Wait, don't you need strength for this gem? No one gave me strength. Do I? No. Don't let me go back across the ocean. You, you, you wouldn't, right? I don't think you need strength. I think that's in my head. I'm actually kind of afraid of Chuck. Um, because you're only allowed to bring two Pokemon. That's why I really wanted to keep Alakazam or, or Kadabra. Because two Pokemon is not a lot of Pokemon. Uh, and unfortunately, Hitmonlee has suddenly gained a special defense stat. <laughs> oh, you got him there, Gref. 
Chuck absolutely destroyed. I can't figure out if Chuck is named after the term, like, to Chuck, or if he's actually named after Chuck Norris. I'm not sure which it is. Man, Hep only learns some complete garbage for moves. Chuck Rock. <laughs> okay. If you make any kind of even remotely pop culture reference to me, the best you'll get is a shrug. I'm not too sure I'm actually from this world. I've heard of punk rock. I've heard of pop rock. I've not heard of chuck rock. Yeah, I don't think he needs strength. I think he just shoves a thing, right? Like you don't need you don't need you don't need strength. They wouldn't do that to you. You don't need strength. No way you need strength. You don't need strength. Chuck Rock was a video game back in the day? I have never heard of it. I am actually kind of surprised because video games are not the one thing I have knowledge of. I mean, Hitmonchan's got nothing to hit me with. So I'll probably just use like Fire Punch and stuff. Yeah, like. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Buddy. It's not gonna work. Hitmonchan look looking dope in pink. Oh, yeah. He pulls it off. Ooh, ooh, that could have been, that could have been spicy, actually. That could have been spicy. Comet Punch might have done it with this little health left. Ooh. Oh no, you need strength. Where do you get strength? Oh, there's no way! How did I miss it? Where do you get it? You already have it? I just checked! Because I was like, I think you need strength. Oh man, where do you get strength? Olivine? Just in a random house? Well, I guess we're going back across the ocean. Houses. That's so rude! Ah. Well, it is what it is. Sailor gives it to you. I mean, that makes sense. Machoke looking much more monstrous here. I feel like it looks too humanoid in later games. Bro just threw the earth at me. I always loved Seismic Toss's animation in the anime when Charizard uses it against Magmar. I thought that was so cool. <laughs> I've never understood how Machoke can use it. Because that's how I always think of Seismic Toss. I'm supply Machoke with the Speedos? No, it's skin. The only clothing it wears is the belt. The, the Speedo is actually just what it looks like. So, you know, fun facts. Alright, time to go get strength. I'm not actually sure War Turtle can learn. Oh, this is great, because I get to go all the way back, and then I get to come all the way back again, and then I get to go all the way back. What kind of gym needs an, a needs an HM? Who does that? God damn you, Erica. You gave him ideas. I'm gonna run out of repels at this rate. That's crazy. I think someone out there making sure Pokemon run around with their shame out. <laughs> I mean, they're just animals, right? Like, animals don't tend to wear clothes, last I checked. So it should be okay. That is the shortest journey. Like, for real, though. Bruh, if it's this house, I swear. There's no way.
Why didn't you stop me before I got in the water, man? Oh, I wanted to teach you to um, check Rita anyway. And of course, can learn it. But yes, I wanted to run strength instead of um, bite because there was no point in bite anymore. We learned that it's it's no longer got value. Never a point in which I would use it now that we have surf. Although wait, I just realized that's uh uh, uh oh don't, oh no, that's a problem actually. Because I didn't want to bring Chikorita into the fight against Chuck. Okay. I'm still not going to. Um, like, okay, we will. We will bring Chikorita, but we will not. We will not use him. Um, Because he's not one of the two po- I, 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 I can't afford to really bring anyone I don't want to bring. <laughs> oh, don't worry, right? Chikorita's gonna- Chikorita's gonna see a lot of work after that. I just don't want to bring him against Chuck. I have a plan for Chuck. But then my plan for Jasmine is Chikorita. So... Chikorita's gonna see work. I just don't want to bring him to this fight. Like I say, I'll bring him because I need the HM Pokemon, and I I am not I'm not just gonna waste a, a slot on one of my Pokemon for no reason. I don't see the need to arbitrarily limit myself like that. Um, when it feels somewhat irrelevant, anyway. to catch something here. Can I bother just another repel? Nope, no encounter. A lot of Iron Man streamers and I keep fighting your moves to randomize. <laughs> I have I have considered um I've considered running it. Kaizo Iron Man. Check me out when I see bubbles so use the appropriate moves. See that's the thing, that's what turns me off from most complete random challenges like that. And I say that as the person who played through a Pokemon game using only Metronome, right? But what turns me off from a lot of them is it's like, there's no there's no strategy, there's just a lot of praying. We take what we can get. Is this type randomization? Yeah, I mean I saw I've seen like people do randomized Nuzlocks where it's like you randomize the Pokemon that are everywhere, and you randomize their moves, and you randomize their types, and you randomize their stats, and it's like, what are you even playing? Well, they know. Not much luck involved in those? Yeah, definitely, I agree. Alright, final black belt. Black belt Lung. Thank you. Alright. Lung? You'd get lucky just to get a run started? Exactly. If I wanted to do. If I wanted to get lucky just to get a run. Ugh! Just to get a run started, I would, um, I would speed run. Which I've looked into, but I just. I don't know if I can be bothered doing, like. Three hour runs that could end at any point because I miss a move, you know? Oh, two hit fury swipes, get wrecked. And then again, I missed Razor Leaf turn one, so. Hmm. Maybe it's me who's wrecked. Man, Ivysaur is just not as good as it is in Gen 1. Razor Leaf does not carry as hard when it's not critting every single time. That's a shame, because Venusaur is easily the best Gen 1 starter in Gen 1, but I'm not so sure about how I feel about it in Gen 2. Well, the grass in general isn't exactly great in Gen 2. That's a full Primeape! Okay, that was terrible. 
And it should be two razor leaves based on how much it was down to the monkeys. Oh, it's not. Alright, well luckily Karate Chop isn't exactly going to do much, whether it crits or not, yeah. Fighting is just bad until like Gen 4. Sweet scent! Come on! That's not a real move. to hit the level cap. Leveling all my Pokemon up to 30. Then we get to immediately zoom towards Price. <laughs> and then we get to immediately come back towards Jasmine. Oh, I suppose I could have brought her the medicine while I was there, actually. Oh well. I'm not a very caring individual. I suppose I should just make sure that his level cap is definitely 30. Pretty confident on this front. Yes, it is level thirty. We did pretty good at heading close to it. I could have fought more things. I just really didn't want to screw myself. Drop Anacos. And I saved the best for last. Because at level 30. Ah, oh, the earliest starter evolution in the series. Look at that girthy lad. Look at that neck. know what that word is. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm guessing that's like the family name for crocodiles or something. Okay, you have a miracle seed. Give the mint berry I just gave you. You're the one with the berry, check Rita. Give, give, give. Figure I may as well give it to Smarmu. Give Smarmu the best chance. <laughs> well shit, buttocks. Oh, that's true. If we can get Feraligate into Gen 3, we get to see the Feraligas. Nice, right, so we're depositing Smart Fridge, Dontium, and Anacos, and Chikorita is not actually allowed to take part in this fight. Tana! You know that word? But Alabusi? No! <laughs> Tana, you do not have a Flaffy! <laughs> I. I. I mean, I've learned a new word. I thank you for that. I, I, I hope it never comes up in my life. But I have learned it. Can you pop Smart Fridge? Can you pop Strontium? The more you know. Exactly. Uh, nope, you stay. And then you pop... Ah! Hey, right, whatever. <laughs> Pigian. I'll keep that in mind. Right, okay. The, the, right, we're bringing four simply because the box is driving me up the wall. But the only two I'm actually allowed to use are my first two. Because I'm only allowed to bring as many as the gym leader does. It's just, I need strength, and I can't be bothered taking the five seconds to change the box over and then change it back later. It's a whole thing. This isn't the gym. I don't want to be up there. I don't want to get jumped on by you, Sin. Soft G. Calipidgeon. Okay, thank you. Thank you for correcting my pronunciation on this word I will definitely use in my life. Why is it a word? It's just one of those words like pulchritudinous. It's like no one's ever going to use that. Why did you take the time to make it? Thank you, I feel very welcome. 
No point saving. Alright, Chuck. You are honestly kind of a threat because of, well, everything. Like, because of, I, because of losing my Kadabra, I'm kind of scared of you now. Whereas Kadabra just would have come in and gone bonk, bonk. Battle would have been won. Okay, Lear, that's not really what we want to see, actually. Two hit KO. Okay, that's good. Crytrap does nothing. I mean, I think we're fine, right? I think we're fine. It's just things could go so far south with Hypnosis and Dynamic Punch and ugh. Okay, we outspeed. That means- I, I'm pretty sure that means we win. I don't think Raichu would one-shot this, but I, I'm pretty confident we take it out from that range. Hypnosis missed. Whatever. Any chance it wants to miss again? Oh, I got a confusion. <laughs> That's so rude. Alright. Chuck, I, I won't lie, I was actually kind of worried about you. Get up, Smarmy. I'm always stressed when I can only bring two Pokemon, you know? It's from Greek, it was notably used to refer to a statue of Venus. Had a particularly nice butt. I I'll keep that in mind. I, I aim I aim for the day in which people use that word to refer to me. Life goals. If you didn't miss that hypnosis, things could have gone south pretty pretty quickly. Man, why does him saying it doesn't always hit, but when it does, it causes confusion? Remind me of the, the meme with the, with the guy sitting at the bar, the you know the ancient one from like, the late two thousands. Oh wait. Are uh, you? Well, that went well. No, I got nothing else to say on that front. I do have a burnt berry somewhere, I think. Okay, Thorn, you can go up front. Jasmine could just wait a little bit longer, alright? Oh, and to actually teach you fly. You don't have the decency to just know it. I mean, no chance like War Turtle can learn it now. I've decided. So, I mean, one of my roles, I don't know if people remember it, is, oh man, Fly is not good until Gen 3, like in terms of the- Ugh! There we go, my hungry time. Yeah, I've decided that- uh, Oh yeah, so to explain it, if a Pokemon survives for two runs, I'm allowed to pick an egg move for it. For two runs, for two, um... 
generations, two games, I can pick an egg move for it going into the next one, and I can take an additional egg move for each further one, so the Pokémon will get better and therefore losing them becomes that much more painful. I've decided to count Surf, Fly, and Volt Tackle as egg moves because they're actually obtainable in every single generation from here on, but there's no way to get them. I, I, specifically for Pikachu, or for Pichu rather. Because I just think that's much more fun. What do you want? The odds of me ever actually teaching it fly? Very slim. Very, very slim. But Surf? Protect would be good if this was Gen 3. So we can only bring three Pokemon. I think I want Thoron, Chikorita, and Smormu. But actually, I, I have so much money now, right? I have so much money. Okay. We're actually going to buy the other two moves for Smormu. Going to buy his Punch and Fire Punch. Because while switching to Lapras would be smarter, I managed to grow attached to Weird Nose Boy. I didn't mean it. But he did so well in that last fight, how can I not? I'm actually pretty sure he could sweep here, but that, that's really boring, so we won't do that. And I'm going to try and save up as much money as I can, because at the end I want to be able to buy... Um, Carbos. I didn't see what my mother's bought for me at some point though. Wait, Fire Punch. Eagle Smarmo. Which means you can hold. Oh god, did we give Smarmo the charcoal? It buffs Fire Punch, yes, but so far everyone who's held the charcoal has died. The charcoal just marks you for death. There is no coming back from the charcoal. Simply again, out of sheer laziness, we're just going to keep Clockwork, because honestly, Clockwork's not exactly going to be contributing. And I don't have the box space to... to not... Okay, I think we do the Charcoal. Like, the Charcoal's not cursed, right? That's just superstition. There's nothing wrong with the Charcoal. Smormu will not die, I guarantee it. What was the gym puzzle here again? Ah, there we go. Well, you just kind of keep going in a clockwise circle, huh? Price, yeah. Hopefully, like, he won't be anywhere near as bad if he wasn't the present one. I love how underdesigned he is, by the way. He's just an old man in shorts and a t shirt. Like, sure, Price, why not? Might as well be. Why is Gym 7 weaker than Gym 6? Why didn't they just switch the two? As expected. This thing actually has no ground moves. <laughs> I debated just doing Jasmine first to get Iron Tail because then Thorin could just take out the entire gym, but why bother? 
Like, I don't need to, you know? Two hits, nice. Our alligator has a beastly amount of defense. And it doesn't have the best special attack in the world, but neither does Pyloswine. And it's mainly got special moves. Yeah, seems about right. Like, I don't know, this is just the point in my in my eyes at least where Gen 2 kinda falls apart. It doesn't know what it's doing anymore. Price should be much stronger than this. I feel like he should have had four Pokemon, and he should probably have had like a Sneasel and stuff. Like Deadly Bird's not exactly great, but like Jinx and Sneasel would have worked better than a Seal and a Dugong. Did I speed it after an Icy Wind? That's crazy. I think we just go straight for strength, honestly. Like, I could switch, but why bother? Return would obviously be better, but nah. I need strength. I think it has rest. If it uses rest, I switch. I win. Like, rest might seem like a smart play price, but if you use it, you lose. I mean, you lose anyway, but like, yep, there we go, rest, and we win. Great news? Oh? What is your great news, Owen? Is it better than the shiny Swablu? I could do with some great news today, I won't lie. Man, I love you, Thorum. So go to the Queer Prom. Ooh, that's so good! Well, there you go! Everything worked out for you. So for two hours for nothing? I mean, we've all been there, right? Thanks for Icy Wind, man. to clear my sinuses. True. There have, been, there have been times that I've had a blocked nose and it's like, gosh, maybe I should just go and depress myself. <laughs> Fix something wrong so that never works for me. No, crying always clears up my nose because your nose starts to run. But it starts to run with tears, it's a whole thing. You'll just have to trust my experiences on this. I just gotta find my socks, they're the only good part, not being able to go. Ah <laughs> uh, well, sometimes you just gotta wear socks. Okay, the annoying thing about changing a box is we need to change the box too, and then store a bunch of stuff, and then change to box one, and withdraw a bunch of stuff, and then change to box two, and then store a bunch of stuff. Cover socks if I can't find them. Taps forehead. Change to box one. Box one, we basically just want to withdraw anything we might ever use. So, mercy. Ah, uh, Comet. Yeah, Mercy and Comet are the only two Pokemon we might even use in here. Okay, that's not true, actually. Ribbon? Just not yet. And I only have. Sp yeah, okay, I shouldn't have taken out. I regret taking out Comet, I should have taken out Ribbon instead. I'm more likely to use Rebin than I am to use Comet at this point. We're so far through the game, I'm not going to add a Stantler to my team. Yeah. 
Sorry. I'm sorry, Comet. I really like Stantler, I really do, but it's too late. It's too late for you. I'm my Doc Martens without socks, being without dancing, that like, give me major blisters. Yeah, I, I recommend not doing that. Yeah, come on, Ribbon. You might only be level 5, but oh my god. When you're able to become a Gengar. Which is right after this gym, right? Okay. We're somewhere here. Goodbye, Mercy. And goodbye, Ribbon. Ribbon, you might be out later, though. And we want Chikorita. And Smarmo. Yes, okay. And we have Doc Martens and Keen Sandals. I will suffer for fashion. You could just get socks, though. I vote for socks. Personally. I mean, I'm not wearing any right now. But they're great. They keep your feet warm. Right, just to check, Jasmine is 35. There's no time. There's no time for socks. There's only time to complain about how you have no socks. Jasmine is indeed 35. Socks are insane. Shout out to yeah, this stream is sponsored by socks. Hey, Strontium, you're less terrible. Man, Venusaur just gets the shaft after Gen 1. Until we hit Gen 4 and we finally have good Giga Drain and Energy Ball and stuff. Well, Venusaur is not good in Gen 3. But that's okay because grass in general is not good in Gen 3. Despite all the water, they managed to make all the moves so bad. Specials approved by the Society of Foot Lovers. <laughs> is that your society, Graf? Earthquake soon, right, Smartfudge? It's either soon or it's like in the 40s. I think it's like 33 though, right? I think it's quite early. Society of butt lovers, we appreciate a well-shaped booty. Were, were you aware of the word that I've already forgotten? Rollout. I got so excited. No, I don't want bloody rollout. Rollout only works when you're an unkillable cow. Calipedian, thank you. I'll pitch you this one. Society of butt lovers is such a like like I don't know, I don't I don't think I want to be in that society. Fortunately I wanted Chaz Calipidian. <laughs> True though. Poison gas at 33, let's go. Love my calipigeons. Okay, so we want um, Chikorita, who should just, if I'm correct, completely sweep. We want Smart Fridge, and we want Smarmo. And then we finally get to play the game again. No more back to back boss fights. My Strontium, my Thoron. And goodbye, Anakos. It is the only unevolved member of the party. Oh. Sorry, Smart Fridge. I kind of forget you exist. Uh, Gems over here. Oh, I need to. Oh, I'm out. Jasmine! Never seen anyone else here. I can say this with 100% certainty. That's the best amount of certainty, you know? Okay, I'm actually gonna lead with Smormu. Because I don't want Chikorita to hit 36 and not be usable in the gym, because I'm kinda banking on Chikorita here. And I kinda zoned out at the fact I had to climb this tower again.
There you go, Ridley. There's something to put on your wall. Or on your resume, even. Pizza poor and luckily both cream Hawaiian. I love pineapple on pizza, right? It's too it's too down talked. Pineapple and sweet corn with a barbecue sauce. That's a pizza. Yeah, I really... Jasmine, I'm not offended in the slightest. Why don't you use the Ampharos in your fight? It's just weird to me. I feel like she was supposed to be an electric gym leader, and then they're like, Oh, no. They were like, ah, Steelix can't really... Like, Steelix could be the lighthouse, but that's about it. Her prom theme was villains, but I didn't know that till today. I think my outfit will work for it. Does your outfit just happen to look like Cruella de Vils? Is that just how you dress? <laughs> have to abuse the Pokemon that keeps the ship safe. But I just, I think it's really weird that she's so associated with this Ampharos and yet... She doesn't even, like, focus on electric types. In fact, she was a rock type gym leader, like, recently. In lore, she only becomes a steel type gym leader when it's discovered, which raises so many questions! So they see through button up with a velvet rose pattern on it. Yeah, I believe you would steal my wallet. That works. <laughs> How was it only recently discovered, Jasmine? What does that mean? Barbecue chicken, ham, bacon, and pineapple. I I would eat very a very small amount of that. Oh, Jasmine, you have come a long way from being my nightmare. I have access to ground moves. I don't just have to use present. Oh, this is so good. Oh, she was such a horrific nightmare. That will always be what I think of when I fight Jasmine for the rest of my life now. It's that time I had to do it with a Grand Bull and a Mill Tank and a Deli Bird. That was all I had. And it was not good. <sighs> okay, and then two surfs. I think even if she uses Sunny Day, two surfs will take it out. Why did she have Sunny Day on her Steelix, by the way? It just makes it weaker to fire moves. I don't get it. I did not think that would be a one-hit KO. So unlike the Pokemon I brought through from Yellow, I don't know Chikorita's DVs. I haven't checked them, I haven't looked at them. I think he might be really good. Wow, that was a stomp. Okay. The second, this is the greatest Chikorita ever. I know, right? Has anyone ever had such a good time with a Chikorita before? Oh, I don't even. <laughs> I don't even have the radio card. <laughs> well, um, that's great. You enjoy your radio broadcast. I don't. I literally don't know about the radio. I'm not. I don't have it. <laughs> Sorry, man. I don't listen to that stuff. Oh, I should I should switch out for Mercy. I should. But I don't I don't like switching out Pokemon before they're dead. I like giving them their best shot. Especially in a Gen Lock situation. But is having Smormu a liability? You know what? You keep that. I'm excited to get not horribly depressed? Hell yeah! That's all we can ask for in life, right? Man, 
Actually, it gives me three water types. That's just so stressful, you know? My team becomes really weak to grass and electric, but... What grass and electric types do I have to fear? Grass types all suck, unanimously. And electric types, I at least have smart fridge for, so... I think it's the right decision to make that swap. I just feel really bad for Smarmu. I think we do it. No, we don't. We don't. There's no way we run with three water types. There's no way we do that. That's so dumb. No. Oh, so I need to... I need to get a flying type anyway. Oh, God. I just... I don't know. That looks like a good special attack. Although, then again, I already know your attack's really low because you're female. I know Lapras has equal offenses normally, so that difference of 6 at level 20 is quite notable. Oh, that sounds so sexist every time I say it, but it's just how it's just how gender works in Gento. Weaker Pokemon are simply female. That's how they calculated it. Oh, I don't actually know. I don't know if I take Smormu. I think I'm gonna take him here. We'll see- oh, you know what? We'll see how Claire goes, because if Claire goes badly, we'll lose someone. And I hate that fact, but if Claire goes badly, we'll lose someone and then we'll have space. So yeah, that's what we'll do. That's how we'll rock it. This isn't the radio tower. <laughs> I just came here. Like I didn't hear anything on my radio. Professor Elm was like, "Ha, oh, they're playing something funny on the on the radio," and I was like, <laughs> "I can't imagine doing that in Britain." Like receiving a text from my mum, like, "Oh, they're playing something weird on the on the radio," and I just immediately get a taxi down to the BBC studios. Completely ready to throw hands. Man, there's absolutely nothing threatening going on here. Oh no! Eight damage. Fifteen more of those and I'm in I'm in danger. Okay. I'll switch to leading with um Anacost because it's stressing me out that he's not evolved yet. Oh, that! That was timed so well with the music! This is the same theme, but I made it look perfectly. That was so good. If I recall correctly, the level caps get wacky. Yeah, Claire's level cap is 40, but then the first Elite Four member is 42. So basically we'll be leveling up for Claire. And then we kind of have to avoid as much stuff as possible. Also, Anacost really? I guess that's what the full heal in my bag's for, but still. Come on, though. Oh god, what did I what did I do? What did I say that was clippable? 
Oh no, this is a situation where I'm actually not too sure how I put my foot in my mouth. Time of the music. Oh, thank god. Okay. Whew. Now, there's nothing like social anxiety to, to make you worry that you accidentally belted out a slur or something. Like, it's not just me that checks every email <laughs> before I send it to make sure I haven't, like, inadvertently filled it with slurs and that the the attachment I've, I've put in isn't, like, <laughs> isn't, like, pictures of me naked or anything like that. Like, honestly, emails are just, oh, I hate them, I hate them! I double check every attachment like 17 times and it's like, how many attachments called Lottie CV do I have? Why am I reading this seven times over? It just says hi! Good clip this time, it's not always about goofy moments. Well, that's good. Honestly, three years ago and yet it feels like two weeks. Crazy how time flies. I remember this grimer because it has Harden. It's actually the source of one of my other clips. And the things you remember from streaming. Do you think I'd remember this grimer? I wouldn't. There's no world in which I'd remember this grimer if I didn't stream that challenge. My life has truly changed in that I remember where grimer is located. I love how Grimer itself is actually a post-game Pokemon. It's exclusively available in Celadon City. Thanks. It's okay, I didn't want one anyway. Okay, well the Grimer are one-hit KOs, so even as defensive as Muck is, I'm assuming it's probably only going to be a two-hit KO. I actually really like Muck. I think it, like, okay, I like Grimer and Muck, but I don't like them as a line because not enough changes. But Muck is just this giant sludge monster. I think is great, and Grimer's oddly cute. But if Muck was a weird one-stage Pokemon, like Snorlax is, I think it would be. I think it'd be a lot more liked. Darn. I didn't think Mark would see me from down there. Ah, uh, Magnemite. Level 27. Yeah, Anacos, I think you're gonna switch, which sucks, because I think you're gonna evolve off of this tactical retreat right here. Of course, the AI is psychic as all hell. Oh, no, for one's not. Magnitude 9. I think Magnitude 4 would KO. Legitimately, I I think that would be enough. Maybe we need Magnitude 5. Because of binocular Coke bottle glasses? True. Who can see around corners? You can see through time. Anacos actually did not level up, it's worth noting. So no Blastoise yet. Soon, I reckon. Soon. Okay, and what... What did they give you to carry out these orders of crushing? What are you gonna crush me with? Come on, what are you gonna crush me with? What you got? Yeah, I see it. Let me know how the crushing works out for you, man. I don't get crushed, right? I crush. 
Okay, if everything else he's got is just poison types, I'm free to switch in um, Smart Fudge. Ugh! No! Don't be that guy! Oh, thank God. <sighs> Just keep spamming magnitude, we'll get down eventually. Uh, sure. Well, that kind of proves my point that I think magnitude 4 would take on a magnemite. Magnemite would be four times weak to it. I never really understood Magnitude's concept as a move, like... I don't know, it feels like it should be called something else. I'm trying to dodge an Earth Tremor, you tiny asshole. <laughs> exactly. I mean, if it wasn't already, like, the most broken move, a really nice buff for Earthquake would be that it can't miss Grounded Foes. It just doesn't need to have perfect accuracy. <sighs> so Thorin still around? Thorin still around? Thorin kicking ass! I'm proud of Anikos and Strontium. They will finish what Rathalos started. Right, Chungus now? Yeah, seriously, look at the absolute girth of this lad. Welcome in, Stardust Piggy. <laughs> oh, okay, straight into the point. That's a chunky lad. I know, right? Uh huh, you're gonna beat me with the Zubat, are you? The problem with Raichu is that its moveset is Thunderbolt. Did you enjoy that list? I'm debating going for Return. Or Iron Tail or something to fill out the move slots, but I just don't think I'm ever going to use them. If I'm in a situation where Thorin needs to take out a Golem, I've probably lost, you know? Return is tempting because I think Thorin could take out a Doug Trio, but there's just no need to risk it, you know? Keep Charm and Sweetcast. Actually, I really like Charm in an Uzlocke setting. Charm's really good. And Thunder Wave is fantastic. Um, like, Charm being able to have attack and Thunder Wave being able to have speed as both as options is just great. But Sweetcast, I'll take it or leave it. I remember this guy because he converted into a ghost type, which meant I couldn't hit him. Oh, Tri Attack finally has a secondary effect. I'm proud of it. God damn it. <laughs> That's so disrespectful. Thora, no! This guy's got so much money, it's crazy. The smart fetch, you take the lead. Ugh. <gasps> Sus! Man, how was Among Us like three years ago? How did that happen? 
Feels like Among Us was like not that long ago that it was a thing, you know? Like, I still find words like imposter and sus and stuff incredibly funny. And I always will. Smart Fridge, why are you the way that you are? This is a real battle of the morons right here. All that Among Us is still going strong. What do you mod it in? I don't know what that is, but I know Sussy Among Us. <laughs> Among. Oh, straight for wheezing. I think he has five coughing and a wheezing, so the fact he went straight for this suggests he has, like, nothing. Well, I know he has nothing, because all of his coughing are the same. Thanks you ten. Thanks you seven. That honestly might be enough. It's not. This fight would have been a way bigger pain in the ass in, uh... Oh, Quicklaw. Nice. What do you... Yeah, anyway, how do you mod Among Us? What do you add? Am I missing out on Deep Among Us core? Clean your vacuum cleaner, you become the vacuum cleaner. Where did that come from? Some of that adds Town of Salem rolls to the game. Ooh. I hate that it's I hate that you're referring to them as Town of Salem rolls, right? As a as a big mafia veteran myself. Um I used to be a room owner. Or the room owner of the um of the mafia room on Pokemon Showdown. I am I am very knowledgeable about Mafia, I love it. I would actually um like to one day be able to host um Mafia, Town of Salem, Werewolf, whatever you want to call it, Knights, in my Discord server. I'd like to be able to host those. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Because I really miss getting to play it. God, it's been like eight years or something since I've played Mafia. How am I that old? Where did the time go? I, th I mean, I figured I figured you would. You know, you... Smack Dwayne Johnson's ass, you've hit rock bottom. You've hit rock's bottom, to be fair. But yeah, I, fig I figured you'd be down. I mean, you've sat and you've watched me do all of this stuff, Ridley, you know? Why do you give me the basement key? It was Ridley a lot that, that's a threat. I'll switch swarm up front. Nope, that's not up front. Oh man, all the trainers are still here? I don't remember which ones I fought. I mean, of course they're all still here, right? But that doesn't mean I can't be annoyed about it. Did I go this way? No. <laughs> I take it. <laughs> I take it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's what. That's what. That's what they say in the fighting game rings. Fire Punch is actually your strongest move, Smarmy. I hate that fact. The blessed charcoal comes in clutch. This is the thing, confusion's just not that helpful. Unless we're against something it's super effective against. Or which I specifically mean fighting types, because against... Um... No, fighting and poison types. Because again... What, wait, what, what was my thought process? It's only good against the things it's super effective against, apart from all the things- What? No. I don't even know. I was thinking about Zuba and how it's also weak to Ice and Thunder Punch. But yeah, Confusion's just not that great. <laughs> how many rats do you have? After I punched the first three, you'd think you wouldn't send out the fourth.
Yeah, that's right, I'll do it. It did more damage than all the other ones combined. Top percentage of Radata right here. So we have been improvement. Yeah, actually... Uh, no, no, it wouldn't be. No, Sidewave Side is hot trash. I was thinking about it, I was like, would it be? Like, would it actually be, even though you were joking? And it's like, no, no, no way. Sinatra and Dean Martin as Pokemon Collection. <laughs> my my favorite Frank Sinatra song is This Rat Bastard. I got um I got a serious case of whiplash actually a while ago when uh, YouTube recommended a video for me. From like it, it, it was you know it was a Frank Sinatra video. Frank Sinatra's famous song, Balls in Your Jaws. It's like I don't think I don't think he made that one. <laughs> Tell me you got the reference. Um, I've not even heard of Dean Martin, so I feel like I'm very behind. But, but Fra Frank Sinatra, he did the Moon Song. I just realized he's just called Silver. He's not called like Rival Silver. Dean Martin is like a Frank Sinatra. <laughs> is he? They were not in the Rat Pack. No. No, no, I'm thinking of... No, I'm thinking of a different pack, right? I'm thinking of the people from the Breakfast Club. That was the Brat Pack. Right? No, no way. No way. They were not like Breakfast Club people. Yeah, the Brat Pack... Oh, they're two different groups, right? Yes, they are. Oh, thank God! Right, okay. Then, in that case, no, I've never heard of the Rat Pack. Rat Pack was named to riff in the Rat Pack? I was... It's like, there's no way, there's no way Frank Sinatra was in the Breakfast Club and I just missed him. Not a shot. Sinatra Martin Group was the second Rat Pack? I can't wait for Rat Pack number five. No, Smormoot. Smormoot. Smormoot, you gotta pull your weight here. I have actually never heard of the Rat Pack, I'm sorry. Smormoot! Okay. I find it weird, like... Was it KO, really? I know you can KO with this one, Smormoot. As long as you don't get credit. Okay, cool. I'm actually surprised I didn't take it out. And a bit concerned. I can might. Fine by me. I mean, Fire Punch would probably KO it, but <laughs> I'm smart enough to not risk that. The issue is I have nothing for Meganium now. Like, I have nothing for Meganium, shoot. I would say it's Smarmu's fault, but he hit the average amount of times. Uh-oh. Oh, Strontium. Oh, I didn't grab Sludge Bomb! Okay, I need to grab Sludge Bomb. Provided it's in the same place it's in in Gen 4. I'm just kind of assuming on that one, but I think it is. But yeah, not grabbing Sludge Bomb is actually a big misplay here, but we'll be fine. It's gonna be slow, but it'll... <laughs> I'm using the better Grass Starter. I'm so sorry, Meganium. I really wish you were good.
Like, how could I not love my jolly dinosaur, you know? Okay, and then Gengar, uh, Gengar, Haunter. I don't have anything great for Haunter, but... Hello, Panashenko. How are you today? Precious bean, it's a good and precious bean. Okay, how many times have I messed with Razor Leaf? I've never messed with Sleep Powder. But I've messed like half the times I've used Razor Leaf in this stream. I've messed it four times. I don't know how many times I've used it, but it's getting silly. And we might lose Strontium as a result of this. Depends on how long it stays asleep for and how much Razor Leaf it actually does. Because if this thing has curse, I don't want to be trying to outlast it. Yes, anyway, sorry. Welcome in, Panashenko. How are you today? Okay, cool. Bit over half. That's all that matters. But my goodness. What? What is this? What's with the 50 50 razor leaf? This is so weird! It's 95 accuracy! It's been a long week. I feel that. It's more that it's been a long day for me. Yeah, the weekend. Oh! I zoned out on this. Don't tip just stone to home over with leech seed, it's fine. True. Strong Tim knows what's best for me. Good job, Smart Fetch. Rocky Ball with a face. Golem is so uninteresting to me compared to the to, compared to where Graveler was. Attack is really high though. Is that special attack not pretty good as well? Yeah, Smarmu. Mm. Ooh, Smarmu, you're kind of terrible. Man. Does Smart French just have a really high special IV? I can't remember. I've got their stats somewhere in front of me. Ah, here we go. Well, it's 12, so it's not like it's perfect, but it's pretty good. Or I'm just going to rock above the terms. So the uh, the reason for that, I don't know if you know this. Um, time for Smormer to ride the bench harder than Fire Emblem Archer? I think you might be right. I think it might be time to bring out, to bring out Lapras. I just, I don't want to get rid of Smormu. You know, he's come so far. Okay, we'll go do it because I want to grab Sludge Bomb anyway. Because I don't like not having it. I know I just used Leech Seed, but the odds of me ever using it again are pretty slim. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Graveler and Machoke were originally going to evolve only by being traded for each other, not just being traded in general. That's why Machamp has four arms, and Golem suddenly gets the little rocky face out of nowhere. Uh, they gave their characteristics to each other. And that idea was not re-explored until Shelmet and Carablast in Gen 5. Locked. 
actually, Smarmu. Sorry, Smarmu. <laughs> Left on red. <sighs> we'll see if I regret having three water types, but I just don't think I will. Don't be wrong, it's not like Lapras is that strong either. I just feel like its stab types are more useful to me. We forever remembering, we forever remembering what I just did. I'm not allowed to escape my sins. I will always be the person who blocked last Anna. Her. I didn't ghost her, I blocked her. She can't contact me anymore. It might say I deleted her number, but that's not the way that works. Oh. Alright, time for Venus starts to get- Oh my god! Why are you the worst starter? and I can physically ghost her if you catch my cold. <laughs> no, she gave me a thunderstone. She was very helpful. Team's starting to remind me of um, Gen 9 competitive right now. <laughs> Someone posted a meme to the Gen 9 competitive subreddit, um, or to the Pokemon competitive subreddit a while ago. It was a fake Magic the Gathering card that was just, um, it was just typed like, what, what will happen after Pokemon Home drops? And it was like Gliscor and Landorus and Great Task and stuff, and it was just eight fucking ground types was the name of the card. <laughs> That's my team with water types. Confuse right? Sure, you can like confuse her. We might actually run out of rare candies because of this decision. To bring Mercy in out of nowhere. Oh, I'm really glad I used that protein on strontium earlier. Really helpful. Freaking Venus armor. Yeah, Perish Song I think I would prefer over over Confusory, quite frankly. Crack and I choose you. I'm sad to say I know nothing about Magic the Gathering. I would probably enjoy it. I had I had a I had a big Yu-Gi-Oh phase. I just my radiator's on. No wonder it's so hot in here. And by a big Yu-Gi-Oh phase, I mean it lasted a couple months, but still, like I really enjoyed it. You didn't get Ice Beam. I thought you learned Ice Beam at level 30, and now we're at level 35, and I'm very stressed out. Because right now you're not actually an ice type. You're just a water type in disguise. And if we want Mercy to catch up. Then we're gonna have to put her up front. Man, I need Ice Beam though. SAP, I'm tempted to teach Icy Wind. Uh, okay, actually, no. When does Lapras learn Ice Beam? Is it... Because I feel like there's a chance it's 36. It is 36. Right, okay. I have no shame. Um... 
sing. It's only 55 accuracy. I'm allowed to ever use it. But yes, we absolutely need to use this Lapras as much as possible. Because she has no stat experience right now. I could actually probably calculate her uh, DVs pretty well based on her stats. I'm not going to calculate calculate them, but I can... I think that's a good special attack. The speed, though, the speed feels dire to me. It's the same as Smart Fridge, you know, like, it's not great. And I need you to have a pretty decent speed if we want to be able to outspeed those uh, Dragonite at the end. Particularly useless but unnecessary large water creature, think Chansey of the Sea. What, Lapras or Polar Kraken? <sighs> I guess that was the comparison that was being made originally, huh? Went right over my head until right there. Okay, Ice Beam is stronger than Surf, because this game doesn't tell you jack. But Ice Beam is actually uh, receiving a power boost from Price's badge. <sighs> See, the name's ironic, right? Because there's no mercy here. Okay, I guess they're coughing and get away with the surf. We have less Ice Beams overall, is the one issue. Flex in the body slam, I just don't wanna. But yeah, in Gen 2, you've actually your moves get a 1.1 times power boost when you have the badge that that moves type is. Nothing ever tells you this. You get informed of the badge boosts, yes. But these are another thing on top of it that's never mentioned. I haven't even touched a shutter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I haven't even touched one, man. Since I don't know when I'll next be able to stream, we're actually just gonna keep going tonight until I finish Crystal. Or die trying. In addition, there's really not much left. Like, this game's Victory Road is like. Five minutes long. Yeah, I'm hoping that if Mercy, if I just let her take on like every single opponent from here on out. God, I wish I could buy, I wish I could get Thunderbolt on her. I can get Thunder, but it would take like five hours. Thunderbolt's not accessible, annoyingly. Which means she has nothing to take on a Gyarados with. I mean, how these puzzles always work in every game ever is you hit all of them, and then it's done. There's never a game that's actually made you think about these. Games will always give you this really complex looking puzzle and then you're like, oh, I just hit each one of them. Oh, okay. Let me tell you, if I take three water types through the emerald, you're not allowed to pick Mudkip, okay? <laughs> We're not doing this. We're not slowly transitioning into the mono water gen log. It's not happening. I haven't even bothered picking up any fishing rods because I'm like, I've already got access to so many water types.
Yeah, I mean, if I want the items, it looks like I need to actually... I mean, what items are here? Classic Duncan. I just want to know the items. Smoke ball, revive, max potion. Whoa! Yeah, we're missing out on absolutely nothing. Mercy has so much health. I'm actually starting to really appreciate these low-level Pokémon, because low-level Pokémon get just as much stat experience as high-level Pokémon. So Mercy's getting, like, a lot more stats than anyone else would be. I actually need to check if anything else gets Ice Beam. I don't think it does. I think this is the only Pokemon that you can have access to with Ice Beam. That's crazy. Look, I told you, right? You just hit all three switches and you walk through. Every. Single. Game. If there's ever a puzzle like this in a video game, just hit all of them. Move on. It'll solve it. Do I have Island Home? Island home? Oh, po po Polar Kraken or something I said. Classic Gloom. scribbled down somewhere around here. Man, I have used up so much paper lately. Unfortunately, I don't know. I had something calculated, but I don't know where it is. This is crazy. When I first played Heart Gold Soul Silver as a child, this is where my uh, this is the room my Crocodile evolved in. How did I get through those gym battles? G Island Home's an ability to make creatures that are unable to attack unless the opponent controls an island. Upset if you have no islands. What? What is Magic the Gathering even? I didn't realize it was Settlers of Catan the whole time. You gotta have islands? Max Ether, sure, I'll add that to the pile. We do love a Max Ether, they're definitely valuable. They're reserved for sea serpents and other gigantic ocean threats. I, I guess that makes sense. It's the Hyuk 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 guy! I actually remember him! Because <laughs> I, I did his laugh! Oh, he told me about Radicate Tail! Oh my god, I didn't actually expect to see the same NPC show back up. That's crazy. Okay, Mercy is almost out of PP. Kyok Kyok? 
Kill, kill, kill. Okay, we don't like seeing wheezing here. Oh, it's level 23. <laughs> and it is dead. Mark would survive this, wheezing won't. Those stats are climbing. Kyo kyo kyo! Love that man. Absolute best NPC. How is my money doing? Okay. This is Crop's backstory. Bo 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 ho ho. I never once did that laugh, actually, when I played the Thousand Jour. I kind of regret it. I did it in my head. To be fair, Crump is absolutely the kind of guy to tell you that the password is Radicate Tail. Man, not two coughing in a row. Now what of me? Damn, Mercy cleaned out the entire basement by herself with 25 total PP. Kind of astonished at that, won't lie. In 35. Good god, I wish that was Flamethrower. What crap is it in Gen 2? Actually, what is the point? I was never gonna ask you to dinner and I'm like he lost his wallet. <laughs> I actually, I, I, I lost my card ages ago, my debit card. Um, and I'm very lucky that like, I have the numbers. <laughs> but it's in my house somewhere and it's like, where have I put it? So it means I can't actually buy things physically. I'm gonna coin. Bit late for that, but you know what? A good number of my Pokemon aren't holding any items, so sure. Buy things physically? Yeah, you know what I mean, like in shops as opposed to online. Like, I can only buy things in shops with, like, money. Like, printed money. And who uses that anymore? You can do that. <laughs> yeah, it's still a thing. This is where you get the Sunny Day TM and Heart Gold Soul Silver, but... Okay, it looks like I'm not allowed through here. You said Lottie a wallet? So, I have a wallet. Um... While we're here, actually, we could... Could buy a couple Carbos. Hey, cool. Did I get the right floor? Yeah, I hate that it's a wallet and not like a purse. I don't know, there's something really manly about the word wallet, but whatever. Um, It's not you, right? No, it is you. Yeah, we're gonna buy three Carbos. I know, I'm insane. That's like all my money. But I have faith. I have faith that it's the right play. Because we need some speed on Mercy. Sixty-three speed, that's pretty good actually. You're almost as fast as Anacos. Yeah, I'm okay with sixty-three speed. Given that you have no stat experience. I mean you're quite a few levels higher than them all. Which I can only do for so long. But uh yeah, this is good. I don't know how much we want to hit to be able to outspeed Dragonite, right? But Dragonite's not that fast. 
Um, anyway, no, my wallet, I was given it as a birthday gift a few years ago. It's a... It's a Legend of Zelda wallet, so it's just all black but with a Triforce on the front. And I really like it. No, it's not the Triforce, it's um... Or is it... Okay, I take it back, I clearly don't really like it. Pretty sure it's the Triforce. But now I'm, now I'm tripping out. Now I'm like, now I'm not sure. <laughs> now I'm doubting myself. I should probably switch Pokemon. I'm not going to, but I probably should. Just extremely important to me that my Lapras gets as much stat experience as possible. Triforce logo with the wings? I think that's why it's tripping me out. It's definitely the Triforce logo with the wings. The worst part is I actually know where it is, I just don't know where my car is. Which is not how you, like, that's not how you want it to be. I took it out at one point to buy something online and then it evidently never resurfaced. And I'm sure I'm glad Surf doesn't take, like, all my life to use. Yeah, I think those carbos are the last thing we're going to be able to buy. Even then, they might have been too much. It's dependent on how much Mum's been storing, and how much she'll, you know, let me yoink off of her. Why would I go down there? The Team Rocket Fortress? Are you, though? Is that- does anyone really call you that? Yes, it's the Triforce logo with the wings, though. I can see my head better. So I have- I, I mean, I can't see my head is the issue. That, that, that- that's literally the issue. I have, um, at least I'm pretty sure I have Aphantasia, so I can't see anything in my head. Okay, Golbat still outspeeds. That's not ideal. Those are like an- I, I have difficulty drawing and I have difficulty remembering things, um, as far as, like, like, I have difficulty remembering things visually. Wait, you had a rocket executive? You had one Pokemon? What? You sucked. You must be Ariana. Arbok's not really how I wanted you to start, unfortunately for me. I've gone I've gone so hard in on Mercy. I don't regret it. Petalance might hurt, actually. Irrelevant. I was thinking it won't have any good grass moves, and I was like, actually, no, it does get Petalance. <sighs> yeah, I think Mercy, I think switching out, um, I don't even remember what it was called. I feel so bad for that hypno. Smurmo? That's such a weird name. Smurmo? 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 There we go. I can make the right mouth sounds. Smurfy? No, I'm pretty sure it was not Smurfy.
That's the guy with the law. Smurfy's law. It's Lapras is surfy. All my water types are surfy. I can't even comprehend how surfy they are. Man, am I gonna be forced to catch Suicune? Ugh. I mean, I'll catch it. I'll just, I'll just huck the Master Ball. Kind of irrelevant to me. Hey, hello, Handar. This is your first appearance in the entire game, and also your last appearance in the entire game. What a valid and powerful addition Houndour is to the to the roster. Glad they added it. Okay, I was like, I didn't think that would one-hit KO. Coughing? Okay, man. Never floats your boat. Oh, Feraligatr's just not as good as it could be, having to use special moves. Oh, Chikorita, I hope I get you to Gen 4. Thankfully, I feel like Gens 1 through 3 are much easier, like, you can use Pokémon with their bad offensive stats, you'll be fine. Okay, you don't have the best special defense in the world. This is an exec. <laughs> don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> This is the boss of Team Rocket in Gen 2. This is this is the big Team Rocket boss. <laughs> Leave. Man, Archer is just the worst. This is your king? <laughs> oh, thanks, man. A, a clear bell. You're lucky I know the significance of that. Oh, I have to go there? Ugh. Oh wait, there's an item in there. Hello. I didn't see you on the stairs. No! I don't have a radio card. I just came out swinging for literally no reason. <laughs> That's official cannon. I have to go to the Ten Tower. Um, I should probably move Thorin up front. I'm just disappointed in Strontium in general. I feel let down. He's a bruiser just looking for a fight. You know me. You know what I'm like. Can't resist a good fist fight. I actually did get suspended from school once for punching someone in the face. That story before. Hey, Elm hasn't called, but I, I'm sure you go to him just now, right? Very worst. It costs me a tiny bit of time. I hate that man. It hatched by the way, Elm. Sorry I didn't let you know. And that I'm continuing to not let you know. I just... I, I don't really care that much. 
I'm, okay, I'm a bit afraid they're going to make me fight Suicune. Apparently that's a stretch moment. Okay. How do I even get to the tower? Is it through here? Yeah, I have the clear bell. Sorry, let me in. Man, I don't want to deal with Suicune. Oh, God. What? What? Why are you all beating the hell out of me? Why? I got your stupid bell. <laughs> okay. Knocked out of them. <sighs> well, I guess Thorin could uh, could do with the practice. Or I haven't actually taken on Suikun. I mean without the Master Ball, I'm not catching it. I'm just I'm just gonna thunderbolt that thing. I'm not dealing with it. Play around, okay, weird choice, weird choice. I mean, Flareon has really high special defense, so maybe Chikorita was not the best shout, but I don't really want to send in Smart Fridge. So I don't want Smart Fridge to get burned or anything stupid like that. Which all feels very possible to- oh, come on. No! Don't be that way. Gadget, kill free XP. Definitely killing Suicune. I'm not allowed to just ignore it, I don't think. Uh, unfortunately, before any of that, I think I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom. All these water types, you know. <laughs> that surf animation. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, Goku at home is like the best, the best NPC I've ever seen. I don't know, I don't know what you're complaining about. If they all have a Noctowl and an Evolution, it's just a nice little bit of experience for Thorin. 
Oh yeah, that was me, I forgot about that. Imagine Taz they can't be seen while they sleep. They weren't really sleeping, like, particularly out of the way, my man. Well, they were kind of just living their best lives. Oh, great, we got Massa and Mooney now as well. Because yeah, while I don't have anything to switch into Vaporeon with, I uh, don't, don't, don't need anything to switch into Vaporeon with. I'm guessing they'd do Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon to hammer in the idea that Entei, Suicune, and Raikou are EVs. Really? I didn't care. That's crazy. It also doesn't fill me with hope for Suicune, quite frankly. Yeah, Jolteon. As expected. Have fun against Smartfetch. Hey, I think you might have forgotten to do most of Golem Sprite. I actually don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Legitimately, where does it start and where does it end? I need Earthquakes so badly. I can't be dealing with Magnitude for the rest of the game. I mean, I can deal with Magnitude 10. I can deal with Magnitude 10 just fine. Magnitude 10 critical hit? Okay, Smartfitch. That, that feels vindictive. It's Roost? Silver? What? What is this lore? I'm gonna be real, as far as gold and silver are concerned, silver just feels like such an afterthought. Lugia would be- like, gold is the canonical one to me. Lugia is fine being a post-game Pokemon. In the Wild Islands, that just makes sense to me. But so much of Johto's mythology just revolves around Ho-Oh, and it's so important to the entire, like, identity of the region. But I just don't get why Lugia is treated as equal importance by the actual game titles themselves. Did you know? <sighs> Thoron, you're just not quite good enough, are you? That's a bit stressful. Hmm. If I have spare money left over, I might want to buy some calciums for Thoron, because... Not one-shotting super effective things means it wouldn't be two-shotting not super effective things, you know? Damn right. stress how much I don't really want to do this. I don't want to waste a Hyper Potion. Um, <laughs> I guess we're not doing this. That's how much I don't want to do it. I really thought you got the Master Ball before now. When do you get it in Crystal? That's just not true, though, is it? Oh wait, after earning all eight Jotobank? Elm! You're slow on the uptake!
Okay. I mean, thankfully, it's not like Suicune is a particularly powerful Pokemon. I do think we should outspeed and two-shot it, but I'm still very scared. It is easily the weakest box legendary, though, by virtue of not really being one. Glad they don't seem to mind that I just left. This path is so nice in Heart Gold Soul Solver when it becomes all the autumn leaves. Yeah, I kind of remembered you just fighting it right here at the base. And this is when these goons finally become catchable in Crystal? Imagine if it was shiny. Okay, we do have speed. And we do two shot. Well, problem solved. <laughs> Everyone just rushing in like, what have you done? <laughs> I've seen a battle flag. Great, I was really inspiring to see. <laughs> all right, good times. We're happy by all. <laughs> I love how worried I was about that. Just, just crit, you know, just crit. rubbing off your Pokemon players. The difference is I never crit in those games. Rokemon. Goodbye, Clockwork. Not gonna see you again for a bit. Strontium. I hope you're very excited about the ice cave. Damn, you fell off hard. Imagine not being able to find Sludge Bomb. Worst poison type. I'm actually quite happy that Strontium and Anacos are my lowest level Pokemon. Like... I thought bringing through the starters might break stuff, but it's clearly not really doing that, you know? <sighs> Rathalos. Oh, tree. Okay, burnt berries are hot trash. Why is this available after the ice gem? Rokumon, is that streaming monster? <laughs> Extra pet. Hey, I'll take it. I'll just take a free match, pal. No way did I just do that. Oh, I want that. I was crazy, I just dominated that route. I know there's stuff you can catch in the middle, like lick a tongue and tangle and stuff, but um Well did 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 you hear the list? I want to fight at least one train, although you're probably a bird catcher. Ugh. Vance. Strong team, if you had Sludge Bomb, I would kind of. Well, they're level 25. This might still be possible. 
Hmm. Yeah, what's the best it's gonna have? Gust? Pidgeotto's terrible. If he has a Fido, that's slightly more cause for concern, but Pidgeotto? Nah. Okay. <laughs> that works. Just crap. Yes, Mother Dearest, hello. Yeah, okay. I really need to see what she... what she has for me in the storage. She's bought me so many items and I haven't looked at a single one of them. Are we catching a swine up? Wow, that's so fast! Look how quickly you slide! That's crazy. Swine up? The thing is, it's a headbutt definitely one-shots this thing, right? It's a deli bird. It does not live headbutt. This is probably the last Pokémon we're gonna catch. Because I can't really be bothered catching stuff in Victory Road. Okay, I'm alive. Arpheus, you're here just in time to see me catch a deli bird. How did it go? How did it go? Did you pass all your tests? Do you indeed have chemistry? Or whatever you were doing? Telebird, I beg of you. I beg. Telebird's just standing above me like, beg. Man, it's not even an easy Pokemon to catch. How is this the second time in my life I have been screwed over by trying to catch a deli bird? And neither of them are the time I actually used a deli bird. Yeah. Orpheus, would you like to name the deli bird now that you're here? They didn't even give it the bird sprite. They didn't even give it the bird sprite. They gave it the ride on sprite. They didn't even try. Game physics was hard as hell. Critical analysis was good. Bio was an improvement for last time, and psych was good. It's at least similar, but not better score. Well, that's that's good, right? You want you, you want consistency more than you want like one good score as an outlier. <laughs> Great name. Thankfully, it'll be lost to time, because it doesn't matter. There's no- If there's a single world in which this thing comes to the Elite Four with me, we've already lost. I simply wouldn't bring it. Now let's get their- let's get their repels up. I'm surprised it didn't actually wake up, though, in all that time. I the Ken Fizz section last time, and I was going with Bio section, so... Oh, true, yeah. You can only know what you know. You can only really find out how well it went later on. That doesn't go anywhere. So where are we trying to... Go? Are you kidding?! Those tiles count as repel tiles? Wait, so we need to hit that one. We need to hit that one, so we need to get up on the top left somehow. Which is probably this way. Yarp. No, that's not it. Here it is. 
The bio section was lay atrocious last time, hoping for a multiple point improvement. Fingers crossed for you. Now look at it's seven HMs as of Gen 2. Ugh. This series. Yep. Unfortunately, that is the end of Withdraw, I think. I'm, light is never going to come up, but I'm never going to use Withdraw. Now, these bite might very specifically be used against, like, absolutely no Pokemon because nothing would have that type combination, but still. Man, I don't want to hear it from you. Absolute worst Pokemon. I find it interesting how when I try and use a Pokemon, I either end up liking them or I end up utterly despising them. Okay, th there's no slide puzzles on this floor, so we can afford to use a repel. Did I miss anything important? No. <laughs> we gained more gym badges, but no one died or anything, so... You missed, you, you, like, you missed battles. But... No? No deaths were missed? Good job, check reader. A tight little space there. Thankfully, block pushing puzzles are like ridiculously easy now that I've done Baba as you. <laughs> like, the block pushing part is nothing. That's okay, I have another one. Okay, so it's older up here, and that needs to come down. So I want to push it this way. Oh, is it training for your crystal speed run? Oh yeah, definitely. I would I would not have it in me to speed run a Pokemon game, quite frankly. They seem far too miserable. Um Speedrunning any RPG pretty much is just like a test of luck. It's actually what I really like about the. Um... How do I do this? I see it. It's actually what I really like about the Dragon Quest Switch speedrun, which I think I might get back to. I think I might try and get that world record back off of the dub. Um. Well, it's not actually luck based, is the thing. It's completely skill based. Anyone raw? Yeah, you're right. Well, I actually. Oh, okay, obviously they're skill based to, to root them and stuff, but by the time you've got the root, all RPGs become luck based. You need to get the right encounters, you need to get the right roles, all the same stuff, you know? Not so in, um... That was the most obvious head nightmare <laughs> Not so in Dragon Quest Switch. Oh, that's not the way. Uh, you actually do RNG manipulation so that you always encounter like the right enemies. You'll roll the right amounts of damage. It's it's all about your, your menuing and your inputs and stuff. Uh, that speedrun. It's actually completely skill based in disguise.
I'm actually quite proud of myself because the reason I got world record was not because of my, um, it's not because of my skill. It was, well, I mean, I'm, I've, I got world record. I'm, I'm quite good at it. But it was because of the fact that I rooted a more efficient path, which I felt very proud of myself for being able to figure out. In Fort Fort, that's like torment or something modern day, right? Oh, modern day, you know what I mean? No, it's rest. Yes, it is always. I think that's always rest. Well, now we have rest and sleep talk, so that's something. Oh, can't go in that way. Oh, I see. You have to go across the stairs. Alright. Yeah, Dragon Quest Nine definitely has no manipulations. So yeah, 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 yeah. I assure you, officer. Dragon Quest Nine isn't actually the most miserable game ever made. You can do everything without manipulations, you can. But it will take you 3,000 hours. Still liking those random encounters? Did I say I was? Ooh, protein. Okay. I have so much crap in here. Okay, Carbos. I think we could, I think we just keep flinging Carbos into Mercy. I didn't realize we were gonna get a free one, otherwise I probably only would've got two. Protein, we now know there's no point wasting that. We only have one physical Pokemon, we may as well just shove it right into Smart Fridge. In Chronicles Exist, Dragon Quest is a breeze by comparison. It's Dragon Quest is post game that's always the thing. You've always been a proponent of random encounters. Yeah, random encounters are fantastic for gameplay, but for um, speedruns? No. No, 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 no. You don't want that. Oh god, how do I get out? Wait, it's not this way? Okay, iron. I need more defense. Oh, my poor little Raichu. Raichu is made out of paper. And honestly, all my other Pokemon are actually kind of bulky. Surprisingly. So yeah. Oh my god, look at look at Thorin's HP compared to everyone else's. What is this Pokemon? Someone designed Raichu and went, yeah, it's fine. I'm actually very lost. Thought a moment, you know it. So up and going right. Down must be the way out, right? Ah, yes it is. I want that item, though. Chronicles is doing visible on field encounters back in 2001. Everyone didn't freak out until the con about the concept until either Tales of Symphonia or Dragon Quest Nine. Um, they were in Chrono Cross as well, but I can understand people not caring because Chrono Cross is hot trash. Uh, I think I probably just want more ice beams, honestly. Without anyone with psychic anymore, I don't even know what I would want apart from more ice beams. I'm trying to remember which Chrono game is which. Chrono Trigger is possibly the most important game of all time. Um, and it's possibly also the game that's aged the best out of every game. You would not believe Chrono Trigger is like almost 30 years old when you played it. But Chrono Cross is like just the worst sequel ever made. As a game in and of itself, it's apparently fine. Um, <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> but, uh,. Yeah, as a sequel, it's... Okay, I think we just go straight to the gym. I don't see any reason to hang about. Oh, Mart. Wait, did I even use the iron? I did, I did. Do you sell full restores yet? Max potion. Okay, so max potions are 
2,500, which means four stars are 3,000. I want a total of 24 of them. But I already have a max potion, right? I want one max potion. I have two hyper potions, and they're good enough. So, I need 21 more. 21 times 2,500. 52,500, okay. And that doesn't give me any full restores. I definitely want some full restores in the mix. So we want about 60,000 by the end of the game. So we probably can't afford to buy anything else. I mean, we'll make do with what we have, you know, but... <laughs> I want to go in with full safety. Oh, that's right, this gym's all weird in this game. The stupid strength puzzle gem in Crystal. Okay, we'll start with Anacos. No, we won't. Yeah, we will. I actually don't even know how to bring as my fourth Pokemon. I guess Thorin? Smartfred is just a terrible choice, and Strontium sucks, so yeah, I guess Thorin. Thorin could probably two hit KO um, Kingdra. Three hit KO at the worst, so. Okay to come in at the end. Although for Kingdra, I'm probably just gonna use Petersong. Okay, that's a dragon. How do you? I know this gem is full of Pokemon that are uh, not dragons, so. It's nice to actually see one. Sorry, was this man's name Coltrane or Paul? I just don't think Paul's a particularly cool name. I think it's fine. It's serviceable. It's a functional name. But... <laughs> cool? I don't think it's a cool name. Paul. Dragon Pokemon lost? Yeah, Paul, they did, because they're all weak to ice, moron. Oh, this gem! Making gem wonder what the level cap is? <laughs> level cap is 40. Welcome in, Spleens. How was your show? I assume it's done and you're not just messaging during it. We haven't lost anyone today. I don't think... <sighs> Someone say Ice-type gym leader? We already did the Ice-type gym. You missed it, Orpheus. I'm sorry. <sighs> Man, you could do it with a normal move. <laughs> like, bite will do in a, in a pinch. Second show got full pwn until next Thursday during a really nasty storm. Ooh. Now stay safe. No, oh, well, I guess bite was actually the optimal choice there, huh? So we're gonna have to take a seven hour test and go to the bar after. I know, Arpheus, you missed Price! You would have had such a crush on him. So what are we doing with these boulders? I'm gonna get one into the- oh, okay, so I just push this one all the way down. He's not even good at Masters. <laughs> How could you say such a thing about my boy Price? <laughs> yeah, I know, that last guy had a Seedra. I guess he didn't get the memo? <laughs> Buddy. This is the 8th gym. There was a guy in the second gym in the first game with one of these. I'm back, what did I miss? We are in the eighth gym. We are just fighting the trainers, solving the puzzles. We one shot so we could. 
<laughs> we got a critical hit. I dealt with all the Team Rocket Radio Tower stuff. Splines, I think Kellogg's came in and made a similar joke and I just totally missed it. I just I just zoned it right out now. We want no yeah, we one shot Suicune. Do you want Suicune? No. I was scared of Suicune. Raichu just came out and one shot it and it was like, fine by me. Okay, I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move here. Uh, and I'm gonna switch in Chikorita so that I can steal some extra money off of this room. <laughs> Me so you can have a fight, I think? I doubt that. If so we can have time to read a book beforehand and just have a little calm mind, it'll all be fine. It would destroy you. That's how you use that word, right? <laughs> Rube, a country bumpkin? <laughs> I've never used that word before in my life. <laughs> it occurred to me afterwards I should probably look up actually what it means just in case. I'm built different. Are you though? By different, do you mean like a child? Not even 1%? Wow. Really? Because my chance of winning a fight earlier was just over 1% and uh, I kind of won that, so... You go for it, Mike. See, Mike's another- like, Mike's a much different name than Paul, right? Mike, I can see sit sitting a cold trainer. Mike is just one of those names that just works in all stages. Like, Mike and Robert, I would say, are like the two perfect boy names. Because they both have nicknames, they both have, like, proper, like, adult names, so to speak. Both have cute child names, they both have, like, old man names. You know, you got... Oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't even register that you were... I, I keep calling you Schmike. Like, because that's your... I didn't even register that. Nor did I realise you would be here. Oh, there you go, there's my inadvertent... My, <laughs> my inadvertent compliment. Right, Anacos. Oh yeah, Splane, do you want to know a cool thing about um, Venusaur? I can't learn Sludge Bomb. Only half paying attention. Honestly, so am I, and that's a bit more dangerous given that I'm in the gaming seat. Full Trainer Lola. That's so dumb. Yeah, Venusaur gets no offensive poison moves. That's your daily Venusaur fact. Okay, so we're one-shotting all these Tratini. You had a 1 one two thirty percent chance of winning. <laughs> the numbers don't lie. And they spell Dragonair for me. I just thought you went with Cold Trainer, huh? Cool trainers exist in Gen 3 as well, right? But we don't one-shot Dragonair, we only one-shot Dratini. Okay. So we definitely need Lapras. Oh, that's scary. Don't get paralyzed, Anacos. Cool. Which mics? There are too many mics. Valid. So that's where Ace Trainer came from? I think so, I think Ace Trainer came from Cool Trainer. You could always check this gym's trainer list in Gen 4 and see if these ace trainers became cool trainers there. Mercy. So Mercy, I'm assuming your speed stat's actually pretty respectable now, right? 67. It's really not. <laughs> but it's, it'll do. <laughs> it'll do. I get the feeling Mercy does not have a particularly good... Um, Speed IV or DV. Then again, Lapras does only have base 60 speed, so I don't know why I'm expecting a speed demon over here.
Okay, time to level everyone up to 40. And then go for Claire. EV, there's another one. DVs are IVs in Gen 1 and 2. They're just different. EVs and IVs are just what they're called from Gen 3 onwards because the way that they work in Gen 1 and 2 is just so different that they get a different name. Bonk. 68 speed. Okay, that's a bit dire, actually. So you're still in Slash. Too late. I taught you strength. Channel value versus direct value? Uh, I can't remember what, it's, what the DV stands for, actually. Falcon gets his powers with deep faith in Jesus Christ. What? So hasn't watched the anime? There's an F Zero anime? Am I missing out? Okay, we're actually about to run our rare candies. EV stands for external value. It doesn't. It stands for effort value. <laughs> so close. First cannon falcon punch, huh? And I doesn't stand for internal value, it stands for individual value. You're <laughs> wrong on both. <laughs> Brug. <laughs> I feel that. Brug together strong. What does Harpies know about Pokemon? Nothing. <laughs> True though. Okay. We do need to add more rare candies. Um, so I think I'll do that just quickly before the gym battle. Hers cure burr. No, not that. God, never that. Hers cure burr. <laughs> that could also be 7 billion lines in a fight. One day you're going to end up in one of these fights that you claim that you could win, and you're going to realise just how out of your depth you are. Should I pity on this new hero's banner? Um, uh, uh, Zahark? I don't know who's on it. <laughs> Smarbug? Smarmu? Smarmu's fine. Smarmu's in here. I just really needed an ice type to deal with all the dragons because my ice punches were not doing enough. Is my fridge all grown up? I know, right? Okay. We're gonna be really quick about this, but we're gonna, um,. We're going to do the final rare candy thing. I didn't think we'd have to, but we unfortunately will. So I'm going to be super speedy, which I would say with more confidence. My thing wasn't closed. Zoom, zoom, uh, zoom. Yep, here they all are. Save items, candy, 99. I don't need 99. We need a max of 60 from here on out, but whatever. And there we go, it's done. Chasing you, but my options are basically Deirdre, Arvel, Claude, and the new Buster DLC, or the new Buster DLC. It's OCs. I mean, I knew there were OCs, but like, come on. They can't possibly compare. Yeah, which Claude is a very important question here, because post time skip Claude is very hot. Wait, this is my team for Claire. Let's just go and get it done. I mean, we might lose here. Claire's genuinely threatening. I don't, I don't like her. She causes me stress. At least the puzzle stays solved. Like, name one other gem that does that. 
Good for you, Claire. No, you can't. No way can you do that with your garbage team. Our Kingdra is scary. It's less scary in Crystal, but yeah, I won't lie, our Kingdra is the only member of our team I'm at all afraid of. Because I'm pretty sure that for her other members, I just go... Oh. Thank god. That's Mercy's one job. Mercy's one job is take out dragons. <sighs> go on, Claire. St go on, Claire. Send out your dragon air. Send out, send out all your dragon air, Claire. <laughs> is it Pokemon Moon? Should be Claire de Lune? I'm so glad that Claire never makes a reappearance. Like, that Kingdra is just so unnecessarily threatening. And, and Claire de Lune is like... <laughs> Why would you send all three of these out? Alright, we win. I mean, I know why she's sending them out. She's sending them out because they have, like, Thunder Wave and Thunderbolt and stuff, but whatever. You don't have a lot of dragons by then? Yeah, you've just seen every single dragon family that exists in Gento. Oh no, my accuracy! How awful! <laughs> Moron. Literally doesn't even matter. Don't care. Right, we're switching here because I'm I am I am fear that I'll forget somehow. I'm pretty sure two ice beams would have taken it out, but probably wouldn't put Brave Cloud in the same banner as Deirdre. That is that is fair. See ya, nerd. Why did she only use smokescreen? Alright, whatever. I won't admit this. Alright, Claire. Alright. My lazy ideals? And screw you, girl. To be fair, if I- like, I feel like she got flustered because I dared bring an ice type. Because I've said this already, um, but people weren't around for it, like, the, like, um, spleens and stuff. Um, Lapras is the only Pokemon, I think, that gets Ice Beam. Before the postgame. Because it's not a TM. I don't think anything else learns at my level up. So she's probably freaking out that someone's got something stronger than Icy Wind, which is what most Pokemon have to contend with. Johto moment? Seriously, right? If you ever have a spare moment, look up Gen 2's um, TMs and just scroll through them and ask yourself why. I'll, I'll get you started. <laughs> Defense Curl is a TM that's only in the post game. <laughs> because, you know. Why not, right? I think we're doing okay for our money now, though, right? Oh my god, I only wanted 60k by the end of the game, didn't I? Dang, we might actually be able to buy another uh, calcium. Actually, from the Mart, we only have, what, like, one... Keep pressing the A button to open my menu. Dragon Quest. Broke me. We have one Max Repel, and that's it. Okay. They're not as good as Super Repels, but... Ugh. Okay, I do not need ten. I need, like, five. Okay. 
Okay, actually, I think we're probably good for money, because I can buy a few forest stores and everything else can just be hyper potions. My Pokemon are not going to hit 200 HP. Yeah, no way. This is why they nerfed um, hyper potions. But there's not a shot we hit 200 HP. With the level cap being 50 at the end of the game. <laughs> Can't be bothered catching Pokemon. And this music just opens out in a... in like the rudest way. It's like my ears are having a party and this music's an uninvited guest. See, Darren, that's a cool trainer name. Not Paul. <laughs> Four hit KO. Three hit KO. That's, that's not bad. I know what I get for having my electric type up front, but eh. Oh! Oh my god, I'm. I don't like this! I don't like it! That Betty did not help you, Thorum. What if those were just two max rolls and this is a min roll? Did you ever play the card game? Pokemon card game? Yeah, I had the Game Boy game. I never got to play it physically because I didn't have any friends. Um, still don't. But yeah, I loved the Game Boy game. Uh, that, that that music is ingrained in my head. If I need Whirlpool out of nowhere, I swear. Oh god, I think I do. I think they're rude enough to force you to use Whirlpool here. God damn it. Ugh. This is Suicune's one use. Okay, that's incon- that- that's- uh, that's inconvenient. I mean, Lapras can learn it, right? Like, that's... at least something. But I have to lose out on Body Slam. <laughs> for Suicune? That's literally normally what I use Suicune for, is I just teach it all the Water HMs. Just slap at the back of my party. Suicune and Gyarados are both really funny to do that with. God, do I want to get rid of Body Slam or Perish Song? I've never used Body Slam, and I probably never will. Water and ice isn't resisted by very much at all. That's why iron bundle's so broken to begin with. I knew teaching surf. I would regret it. Teaching surf to blasters. Whirlpool is the worst HM. Change my mind. What is that? What is that? I see those Charizard heads. Okay. What are Pokemon to you? Friends. Helps you win battles? Strategy! <laughs> Definitely. What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? <laughs> they all give stat experience. What's most important for raising Pokemon? Violence. Probably knowledge, honestly. But he wants to hear love. Ugh. Important. But they're both great. They are, genuinely. I like them all. Except Delibird. Delibird's like a 10% encounter rate, by the way. I love how you literally can't even fail this, by the way. Like, you literally can't fail. <laughs> 
Even if you get the wrong answer, he just goes, mm -hmm, okay. Awesome. I am now God. Cute Pokemon? Yeah, I like cute Pokemon. I'm gonna miss out on the TM for Dragon Bra Oh, did she give me it here? <laughs> I thought she gave me it when he tried to leave. I was about to just dig on out. Does Cloud exist when Lance also exists? Well, she's Lance's younger cousin. It doesn't have anything to do with my breath. I still don't know why that line exists. If we wanted, we could get the Dratini with extreme speed, but I don't really care. Our Olympic sprinters get racing stripes tattooed on them, we'll go faster. I don't think that's true. Elm, 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 elm. Just Western audiences to Sundere. No, she's not a Sundere, she's just an awful person. And I know that that tends to be an overlap where Sundere are also awful people, right? But she doesn't like you. Claire's not your friend. We have to be careful if we don't want to hit the level cap of 42. I think we're gonna rock with this team. I think this is the team. I don't think I'm gonna change it. I was gonna bring Gengar at the very end. If I needed it, but I don't think I do. I mean, Smartfred sucks, right? But whatever. You'll get Earthquake soon enough, right? If I manage to make- if I manage to take a golem through the whole series, I want acknowledgement. It's just such an eh Pokemon with so many nasty weaknesses. Come on, Clockwork. Cup of 42 and Elite Four are terrible comparisons. Well, Gento. Golem has got Earthquake. Yeah, but do you know what else gets Earthquake? Like 90% of things, it feels like. The biggest issue with Earthquake isn't, oh, I need to make sure I've got a Pokemon that can learn it. It's, who do I teach it to? The one thing Golem offers is that it learns it by level up, but I don't even know if it's going to. Because this game's level caps are so early. Name it on the Tribal Chief. What with my Golem? <laughs> my friend is also the MVP of the most important battle run. I'd like to point out that that's not true. <laughs> Smartfridge pulled out a clutch move at the end, yes, but we only got into that awful, awful position because of Smartfridge. It was Smartfridge's fault that Rathalos died. I guess we'll see what Elm wants. I mean, I know what he wants, but I guess we'll see what he wants. I know what he wants, because I wanted it before Suicune, man. You didn't get me, did you? How is your research going great? I didn't even tell you anything about that Togepi. I didn't tell you jack about that Togepi. Top Chat Seven's Mountain Young to the world acknowledge me. That's not even where this run ends. We're doing the post game of Gen 7. Because I hate myself, apparently. Okay, 
We only have five matcha pals, but I think it'll be enough, honestly. Like, I really don't care about catching, like, anything from here on out. First step into Kanto. This is the first time Kanto ever got a name. Like, the anime just referred to it as the world of Pokemon. I think we have to go through this cave, right? Tojo Falls? Yeah. Oh my god! I was like, oh, we'll just get the, you know, the climbing the waterfall anime. No! Lapras spun out! Chikoriti is surf. Look, my Pokemon have all the right nicknames, okay? How does a Pokemon know when to go to the doctor? When is Bulbasaur? I don't think Ice Punch takes out Ivysaur in one hit, but at the same time I've got an 8 level advantage, it's a super effective move. Okay, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, Razor Leaf does only have 50 accuracy. Deal with it. This is the issue with having three water types and a golem, right? My team sucks against grass. Like, sucks against grass. Man, sure would be cool if Venusaur lands Sludge Bomb. We'll just give it a nice neutral stab move to use in this situation. Yours has body slam. Mine is not body slam. Where'd you get body slam? Did you transfer this from Gen 1? The call of the fire dragon didn't perish. Well, we can blame Smart Fridge for that, right? So far, both deaths in this run have been Smart Fridge's fault. I'm happy that we've only had two, though. Come on, Strontium. Strontium, you're eight levels above it. Strontium. Strontium. Why? Wait, you haven't benched him yet? That's because he has to atone for his si Three crits in a row? Sleep lock death. Like every RPG loves it. That was dire. <laughs> Imagine really rubbing off your Pokemon. I wish it wouldn't. Oh, mother, I forgot to check everything you bought me. Sorry. I'll check after, I'm sure. I definitely will. That's definitely a thing I'll do. Any chance you heal me? I just wanted you to heal me, old lady. Sandstorm exists in Gen 2. Then... Then why didn't Jasmine... <sighs> Would you sleep while you die? Look, I can't. I can't with sleep. Right? Dragon Warrior Randomizer has just broken sleep for me. I just don't want to see it, I don't want to hear about it, I don't want to think about it. If he's, you die. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. I don't know, sleep locks are worse, at least that's fast, you know, and you're like, ah, oh, that sucks. Good job, strong team, you just cost me 1200 poker dollars. Stay winning. I think 
a solar beam down there, actually. <laughs> wow, we could go get it. Or we could just do this. This is much funnier. Fruit design! <laughs> I think- oh, you have to fight this guy. Oh, no you don't. False alarm. Is this a healing house? And my hyper potion though. Also, that's it? That's route 26? Are you kidding? Man, this game just ends! Ice berry. <laughs> what, you don't like the ice berry? Your task is to guess what the ice berry does. It's very logical. Okay, you have to fight one trainer. There we go. But you do have to fight one. <laughs> undoes freezing? Nope. It undoes burn. What, you didn't guess that? Agility when you're already faster. Big brain, big brain. Yeah, it makes sense, but it's not what you think of in your head. I get it, right? The ice berry cures burn, the burnt berry cures freeze. I don't know how you eat a berry when you're frozen. I bet you feel real smart for using agility now. Beth. So do I have enough money? Nope. Well, actually, what I can do is I can sell the, um, I can sell the amulet coin. They sell for a pretty decent amount. No wonder she lost so Yeah, she had one horse. How did she get here? Rapidash solar on when? Look at that. Look how boring that is. Oh, the eight badges. Okay. So, oh, all right. We're not doing cool badge gates this time? Sure. Oh, this is just Gen 1's victory though, but really small. Rapidash Solar on next. Rapidash Design is cool. I, I always liked Rapidash as a child, but... Like, I wasn't much of a horse girl, but I liked Rapidash. Just wish it was better. HP up, okay. Wow. Well, Guess what I'm about to chuck out of my bag? <sighs> Galarian Rapidash? I actually wish they did more with Galarian Rapidash. It feels so lesser. Because regular Rapidash is already on fire. And we've gone to a non-fire horse now. What? Why? Why is that the direction that went? It should be covered in psychic energy or something. Okay, I don't- all I know about this cave is the earthquake is in here, you know what? <laughs> right, what's our last encounter of the game? No, I've got one of those. My one sucks. I can't trust him as far as I can throw him. I was gonna huck the Master Ball at something, but if nothing wants to show up, nothing wants to show up. I don't want to overlevel too much. I actually don't know what Silver opens with, which is a bit of a problem. Well, Wild Pokemon had their chance.
Full heal? Okay, not really what I want. They're going to release a new game that doesn't suck on PC at launch? Yeah, they do it all the time. That's that's not useful. Nothing happened there. I guess canonically I picked up that rare candy in the first game, huh? Star Wars game is bad on PC? What? No. Star Wars game? Not being everything it was sold to be? That's crazy to me. Maybe it's just bad to reward you with a sense of pride and accomplishment for playing through it. What a story. Okay, well I'd rather that than... The Max Revive, kick it out. I mean, it sells for a decent amount, but whatever at this point. A bit of blame EA, but literally no one can make a PC game right anymore? That's not true. Like, good PC games do exist. I swear. Oh, there we go, I knew it was in here. Behold! The one good TM in Johto! I mean, I obviously give this to Chakrita. Anaclose doesn't have space for it, Smartfire is gonna learn it anyway. Yeah. Goodbye, Dig. You shall be missed. You have to go to Canto Far? Oh no, it's not even in Johto! <laughs> oh, that didn't even occur to me. The one good TM in Johto, and it isn't. I thought Lapras could learn Earthquake. I'm kind of surprised it can't, because it gets Fisher. The best and strongest. Is that true? Look me in the eyes, Silver. Look me in the eyes. Is that true? What are you going to leave with? What's the best and strongest Pokemon? You're a joke. I'm actually not sure if Surfer, Surfer Earthquake is stronger. I think Earthquake is, which is crazy. It's not gonna use Surf, but... Ah, Screech. Okay, that does suck. You're gonna hit me with all that hard-hitting physical stab, aren't you now? All those physical stab moves Sneasel gets. God, what an awful, awful Pokemon it is. Yeah, seems about right. Who needs other Pokemon? I am so happy to have a starter that's good! Okay. I'll just use Sludge Bomb. Ha 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 my beloved. I started with Gen 4 when it was good. Yeah, Sneasel. Oh, Sneasel is hot trash in Gen 2 and 3. At least that'll do nothing. They're, they're, I mean as in the starter I took from the game. It's just weird to have the starter be my best Pokemon, not something else I picked up. This isn't guaranteed. Great. Strontium, not here. I thought I'm not, like, Thorin sucked ass in yellow, don't try it. 
thought it was hot trash. Okay, cool. I was afraid that was going to be the one turn sleep. This is the last grass type we have to fight, right? So my team being cripplingly weak to grass is no longer an issue. I'm getting as bad as getting the crap out of Strontium. That's because Strontium sucks. We're Sludge Bomb, Strontium. We're Sludge Bomb. Just keep spamming Ice Beam. Oh no, not Shadow Ball. Yep. Man, Haunter, I feel so sorry for you. But trust me, Gen 4, you'll become a king. Surely Venusaur gets it eventually. Venusaur learns it in Gen 3 onwards. I was very surprised it didn't get it, in, it didn't get it here. I know it gets it in Gen 3 onwards. Ah, future sight. Let's wrap this up quickly, yeah, Mercy? <laughs> Big thumbs up from Mercy. Katamara sneeze it dies. Yeah, I'm I'm aware. Still it's sped by Golbat. That's not great. Oh no. Mercy, I can't lose you. Okay, cool. Like, I, I literally can't lose you. If I lose you, we lose multiple team members at the end. Absolutely guaranteed. Yeah, okay. Good for your silver. Give me your money. <laughs> Alright, see you later, man. Gardevoir sneezed it. Gardevoir's actually got bulk on it. Not much only on the special side, but still. Bulk. That is the shortest victory road in the whole series, by the way, and I am A-OK -okay with it. Sneezes physically. <laughs> I guess poison type moves are physical in Gen 1 through 3. You do sell hyper potions. So we do not need max potions in this game. So how are we doing for numbers? We need to sell a couple things too. I have one hyper potion, one max potion, one full restore. So we need 21 hyper potions. Which is so cheap. But I'm actually only going to buy 16. Top it off with five full restores. Once so we have the space, we'll buy some full heals. Like four. Are we crushing this? I think we're crushing this. I'll sell everything I no longer need. <laughs> Sells for good money, right? Glad I didn't chuck it. Unfortunately, I don't think I can afford- oh. We want to hit two- th we, uh, we want to hit like 29,000. We're kind of far away from that. Yeah, we'll just settle for the two that we can afford. So I think we buy two Carbos for Mercy. Because I just needed to be a little bit faster. But her special attack is A-OK, -okay. like seriously, compared to the other team members. Lapras isn't even meant to be particularly powerful, but Mercy's special attack DV, I think it's really high. But she needs some help with the speed. I think we buy one Calcium and one Carbos. Calcium for Thorin. And then we crush this. Uh, just wait a second, Smart Fridge. I'll come back for you, I promise. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, god damn it. We buying Jack. <laughs> We're buying Jack. We're not buying anyone. I forgot completely. Oh, that's so annoying. <sighs> Right, we're making do with what we have. You can't fly to Johto. I'm gonna throw and die, cheat. Calcium and Carbos are not cheating. All these rare candies are technically cheating, but all they're doing is speeding life up. We'll see if that ends up screwing me, not being able to afford those last couple things. You never know, I might lose someone as a result. Rain dance? I think it's a bit late for rain dance. Although, my god, I could run a weather team! Growth at 41? I land at all. Oh, there's Earthquake. Okay. There it is. Sure. Look at this god awful moveset. It has had this moveset since it was like a level 16 Geodude. Why? Weather team is like terrain team but boring. Weather teams are significantly easier to actually use though. Okay, so we're starting with Will, who is the team- the Elite Four member I have like the least good stuff against, but he does open with a Zatu. Actually, Mercy should be able to take out most of his team. So should Thorum. Uh, yeah, I trust Mercy more. I don't want to run out of Ice Beams. That's what my ethers are for. Green teams have Psychic and Fairy. So could weather teams. If you wanted them to. Okay. Well, we don't have any berry at all on... So we may as well go with, what, a Purse Cure Burr? Oh, you already have a Purse Cure Burr! We'll look at that other Purse Cure Burr to throw it on them. It's a whole lot more work. Well, you don't just want like you don't want to have a rain team and only run water types. Okay. Let's just go right on in then. Hello, well. Man, Will is like the most threatening member. Because I don't have anything for psychic types, because they actually forgot to nerf them properly. They added a new ghost move, but it sucks. Um, they added dark types, but you can't get any before the post game. They added steel types, but you can't get any before the post game. It's faster than me! Never battled other people in one, I just want to run Psychic and Mystic Train in peace. Valid. Yeah, Frothorn and Rain. Choice Specs, Thunder, Frothorn, let's go. I am very stressed about why he's bringing out Jinx. What does he know that I don't? Like, Jinx has nothing for Chikorita. Choice Specs Thunder for Author, yeah. It's a, it's a very, very, very minor meta. Lovely kiss, that's sleep, right? Oh my god, this is so tedious. I told you, I told you Will would be the worst.
we have nothing to switch into Executor with. Nothing. I just realised. All of our Pokemon are weak to Executor. Or are my terrible Raichu. Oh, you have Psychic! You're just waiting? Chikita, I need you to wake up like yesterday. Oh my god. That wasn't a crit. Are we gonna lose to a Jinx? Please no. What do I even do? I had an answer for this. It was my Hypno. Anakos has way better special defense than for Alligator. Should be able to live two hits. Okay. And we outspeed. Okay. Perish song switching. I have to get Lapras back in is the issue. That's not a two-hit KO. Oh, double slap. Whatever. Don't hit too many times. Okay, cool. Right, we just want to bite. Fish for flinches. That did so much. That did so much more than I wanted it to. <laughs> oh, he didn't heal. Okay. Right. I told you Will would be the... The scariest member. I'm not actually scared of the next two members at all. And then Karen's just a pest. Executor, yep. Yeah. Don't have anything for Executor. Leech Seed? Okay. Shockingly, that's fine, because I just wanted a Thunder Wave you. I mean, Psychic will hurt. This is not a good start. <sighs> I have- I'm putting a lot of faith into Mercy here. I don't think this will KO. Which means I think we just lose the whole run. Oh thank god, okay. Slow bro, not as threatening. Shockingly. Even though, look at my team! We good? We are not good! This is a terrible start! <laughs> oh, that's not good at all. That is not the time! That is not- this is not the time! for Sleep Powder to mess. We need some gross Sleep Powder Leech Seed strats here. Like, it will die eventually, but ugh. Slowbro Sprite is quite something. He's living his best life, you know? Crit? No crit. Crit? Hopeful? Me? Never. Oh, thank god. It does have a high critical hit ratio. That wasn't completely just, you know, luck. Zato. 
Wait, Stone Tim will level a Psychic from Zato. I believe that. Okay, cool. I just crit. Rizzly has an increased critical hit ratio, to be fair. It was it was a worthy thing for me to pray for. Smart Fridge. How did this happen? How did we end up using our whole team against this guy? I think it's a two-hit KO. No strongest Jota member confirmed. Look, Psychic is busted! They didn't nerf it, they forgot! They tried, but they didn't add anything. Rock throws nothing better? Nope! Max Potion, not full restore. Interestingly. Smartfridge, this is entirely your fault. Oops, I forgot. <laughs> I think he barely lives. But if not, we get a free switch. Man, this sucks. Okay, he barely lives. Whew. No deaths here! Ha 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 ha! Smartfridge? Look, when he lands explosion, alright? Well, you always. I always as a child, I always as a child, I struggled with Will. I swear, he's just so much stronger than all of the other Elite Four members, and I don't know why. Uh, okay. Our next level cap is 44. Look at this beautiful team. Rain no, guys, I said no. Oh, I never I never checked what my mum had. If Smartfridge died, it would have entirely his fault. Is Psychic too strong? Yeah. Psychic finally gets nerfed in Gen 3 when they remembered to, you know, put in dark types. But in Gen 2, Psychic's still absolutely busted. Okay, we got Koga next, who Psychic would just sweep right through, but we don't have a Psychic Pokemon. All the extorted money makes the jump to Gen 3. <laughs> There's no extorted money! She took it all! Gets nerfed. No, don't be sad. Psychic got nerfed to what you know. Psychic got nerfed to being an actual, reasonable type. You know what? Start prediction. Go. Predict. They're all 44, I need to heal my Pokemon. Will we beat Crystal with no more deaths? Only you can know. Uh, I'll just use this Max Potion because it's stressing me out. Doesn't need to be there. Unless you're using like a Blissey or something, you're not gonna have over 200 HP. Although Mercy is, uh, Mercy is trying. <laughs> I'll be trying to remember how the best of Johto Elite Four members. Yeah, seriously, Johto, right? What is its deal? I love how no one wants to predict on this. <laughs> because it's like, it's not a sure thing either way in the slightest. This ended up being a lot harder than I thought it would be. Koga. I think we want Smart Fridge for Koga. We'll see how much I regret that. 
I mean, I pretty much always regret smart French, but... We don't have any fire moves. That fortress is gonna be a pain in the ass. This is my first solo Koga. Fingers crossed. Koga's pretty bad. I I love that no one is predicting anything either way. I feel it. Right. The thing is, rock throw just isn't even as good as Earthquake. It's just better to use Earthquake. Because Rock Throw can miss. Ultimate team is annoying on Crobat, Fortress has Explosion. Yep. That was the most worthless prediction I've ever set up in my life. <sighs> Favorite meme let's go category is get kicked by Koga. <laughs> Why? What happens and let's go? <laughs> okay, here comes the big boy! <laughs> I think it's a two hit KO. Based on how much we did to Ariados. Crap. Let's go, you need 50 Pokemon in your pocket, it's going to Kobe's gym. Yeah, I remember that. I remember realizing that, that meant that it was just an unnuzlockable game. Swift. Look, I know you have explosion though. Koga does not want to use his potions, and I don't know why, and I'm here for it. So far, this is going a lot better than Will. Venomoth. Okay, Venomoth, we still just want to keep spamming Earthquake. Rock Throw is so weak that it's just better. Category is to get to Koga with fewer than 50 registered. Ah, isn't that just regular speedrun? Actually, you don't want to catch that many things, right? Okay. <laughs> you get kicked out of the gym for not meeting the requirement. <laughs> Amazing category. Uh, the one thing we need to use Rock Throw against. That was definitely a quick claw proc. Don't pretend it wasn't Smart Fridge. This sucks! <laughs> Why did you use a full restore? It wasn't even remotely in the range! Man, Toxic's so bad. Okay, wing attack's all it's got, so as long as Smart Fridge can just... Yeah, that was a crit. Oh my god, we can do one more turn, I think. I think wrong. Crap. So you have to hit the 50 to get into the gem, it's something the route has to take into account. So then you just run a different a different route. One tag on Smart French, don't <laughs> It's still not a good thing. Okay, Toxic missed. Thunderbolt did not. Oh, thank god. And then I think his final Pokemon's just another Ariados, right? Man, I should not be threatened by Koga. <laughs> oh, it's a Muck. Well, whatever. I fought like 500 of these at this point. Like, Thornton's like a 3 hit KO, right? Yeah. Oh, Christ! <sighs> Koga is the worst- This is the worst Elite Four! My Sludge Bomb doesn't- Actually... Did I mess up? Okay, Sludge Bomb does not KO. I thought I'd messed up really badly. My Sludge Bomb doesn't do that much to Chikorita, because Chikorita has really high physical defense. Does more than I would like. Earthquake Chaos. Okay. 
I hate Koga. <laughs> Seriously, this Elite Four is just all about, like, double team. Just gross strategies. Slush Bomb is physical? Yep. In Gen 2, all poison moves are physical. As fun as Erica Gem, which requires a cute Pokemon again. Doesn't cute- all, po all Pokemon are cute- Oh, that's what it is! Because I, sh I assumed that maybe like she didn't like bug types or fire types or something, because I remember showing her my Mr. Mime and being very surprised it was allowed in. Like trying to dodge the Raging Earth asshole? Bruno is fine. Wait, I don't have a psychic type. Why are all these- Ugh, they're, all they're all torn apart by psychic types. Just two full of stars. I mean, Bruno, I should be able to solo with Chikorita though, right? Anacos at worst. Oh, poison moves are physical. Poison jab, poison tail don't exist. Look, don't don't worry about it. All ghost moves are physical as well, and they are literally just lick and shadow ball. It happens. Okay, level cap is now 46. Yep. Man, I miss Kadabra. I lost physical curse beyond curse. Well, that's why I did like 11 damage when Haunter used it earlier. It's a really good coverage move, but it's really bad for the poor little ghosties that get it. If we can just get to Lance, I think we're good, but... Man... This team is not good. I <laughs> love Bruno. Ah, uh, we love Bruno being in two games. Fight Red, you won't? Red's not hard. Like, it's really easy to have a well-built team for Red. <laughs> okay. I think we actually want to start with Anakos. Rather than Chikorita. Well, who's faster and who hits harder? Like, I know Anakos hits harder. I think Anakos is also faster. Yep, Anakos is harder. Not uh, harder. Anakos... Hits harder, Anikos is faster. Um, Anikos definitely has better defense. Definitely start with Anikos. God, I wish I had a psychic type. Ugh. I focused so much for Lance, I didn't even pay attention to the other Elite Four members. I didn't care. You know, I, I don't have a flying type. I don't have a psychic type. Psychic would have swept this. I just don't think Hypno would have, given that the only psychic move it gets is confusion. Well, don't be wrong, it would have tried its best, but... I just don't think Hypno would have swept. I forgot Bruno was in Johto games. Yeah, he moved up. He was the second Elite Four member in Gen 1. Now he's the third. Dig. Okay. Now I wish I had withdraw. Careful, he's got an onyx. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the warning. Okay. Certified Rathalos moment. Oh, don't. Rathalos would have been so good. Like, it's a fire type I'm missing as well. Fire would have stomped a lot of this. Although I don't think Rathalos would even have flamethrower, would he? Thunder Punch? Coming my way? Coming in hot? <sighs> Careful guys, it might do double digits. <laughs> I 
this hit one up so bad. All the hit ones are really bad. It's one thing that I think is very easily forgotten about them is that they suck. Okay. If Fanacos can. Uh, Hitmonlee has less special defense than the. No, they all have the same special defense. Hitmonlee has the least HP, right? Or do they all have the same HP? They might all have exactly the same special bulk. I think they do, based on that. That's gonna hurt a little bit. <sighs> we stay in. We stay winning. We stay winning. I have a clip about this. <laughs> we don't talk about that clip. It gives me nightmares that my mum responded to me about that clip. Straight for my champ, eh? Straight for my champ. Hey, high jump kick. High jump kick's got really good accuracy. Oh, that's so good for me. Oh, that makes up for it. Look at him having rock slide. I can't get rock slide. Okay, Strontium. There we go. For fighting type user, this team is good. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, this is like the best fighting type Pokemon you can have. The problem is, is the fighting types are just really, really bad. Bruno, you're just really not good. We only got one level for Karen. But then I think we're set. If we can just beat Karen. Problem is, I don't remember what she has. No one remembers what Karen has. I know she opens with that god damn Umbreon. Let's give Lucario instead of Onyx. Hey, if we're adding Pokemon for future gens, right, there's no need for him to have any of these apart from Machamp. And as a Houndoom? Yeah, I remember the Houndoom. She has Houndoom, she has Murkrow, she has Umbreon, she has Gengar, and she has Vileplume. We might be able to sweep that, actually. Lapras might sweep. Oh crap, he's still got his Onyx. Gengar Veltum? Yeah, my favourite Dark types. What about you? I don't know why she doesn't have a Sneasel, but I I'm very happy she doesn't just have multiple Umbreon, right? Because her Umbreon is just the worst. It's just the actual worst. Went really well. Okay, everyone gets a rare candy, go up to 47. Which back to the Penny Metron run, we don't talk about that. <laughs> to be fair, Penny's Umbreon is like the worst, but in a t in the sense of Penny. What are you doing? That threw me off there, I was trying to figure out why Chikorita was learning Screech. I don't think anyone's running out of moves, but if anyone is, it'll be smart for edges earthquakes. Only five left. I might actually just fling a an elixir his way. Yeah, you've lost a few surfs. You've only used one move. Smart Fridge have been doing all the work here. I have two more Max Elixirs. 
I have a few mag- I have a few ethers and stuff. You surf, huh? I know, right? <sighs> oh, Mercy Petter's song in a Nuzlocke? Hey, we used it! It's how we beat Claire! <laughs> God, I hate her. <laughs> Actually, Perish Song might have been the best way to take out this Umbreon, thinking about it. Just lead Mershi. Just Perish Song. I don't think the AI in Gen 2 is smart enough to switch. It's a level 42. That's actually really nice. She's better than Masters, I promise. No, Karen's just the worst, okay? She's just the worst. I think all of her Pokemon have Double Team. And Confuse Ray. Oh my god, she's just awful! special as well. I got have a Dark Pulse. Yeah, we're probably looking at regular Hound down here with, like, Bite. A smart Fridge, please! Right. The Umbreon is just the worst part of the whole team. Fingers cross for Vile Plum? Yes. Man, I miss Rathalos so much. wrong, I wish I had Sludge Bomb, because it can learn it, but I can't. Pedal Dance. Oh, sick. I don't even need to put it to sleep. That's good nothing. And it's locked in. Said no more grass types. I kind of forgot about this thing. Please, please, please pick Torchic in Emerald. <laughs> I need a fire type. Also, please never let me rock about with three water types ever again. I've learned my lesson. I'm sorry. She's just gonna heal from this. Which is frustrating. Unless it hits itself and knocks itself out. Hey, oh. Spend points for that one. Uh, we'll see. I'll take whatever's given to me. I'm done. Okay. Oh, the joys of having all the water types is that I always have someone to switch into Hound him with. Here comes Flamethrower. Anacos lifts those. Anacos takes those! Crunch does exist in Gen 2, the more you know. Nothing seems to learn it, but it does exist. It outspeeds, which is not good. Not good at all. Hit way harder than expected? Yeah, same. Don't like it. Don't like it. But we might take it out depending on if that was a damage range or not. Manacross' special isn't even bad. <sighs> Wasn't a range. Manacross stays winning, however. I think we lose strong team here. It went straight for Curse? Kinda huge though? Because I can just immediately switch out again? My Pokemon is Murkrow, so...
Lick. Is that its best stab? What? Oh my god, I bet it's running Hypnosis Dream Eater and it can't use them because it paralyzed me. That's so stupid. Right, Murkrow is almost definitely running Pursuit. I think Mercy takes it. If Mercy can't, like, if Mercy's too hit KO'd by a... Okay, cool, it does not pursue it. Hey, you played yourself? I know, right? Okay, it's just faint attack. And all these dark moves that you didn't realize existed in Gen 2. Can you just ice punch it? I did not want to get paralyzed, like, four turns in a row and have it take me out. Murkrow hits way harder than you would think it does. Like, I was not risking that. The paralysis might have helped me survive against Gengar, but no, I was not taking it. Murkrow hits it. Seriously, look at his stats. Murkrow's weird. It's actually pretty usable. Star. Only one of my Pokemon had a status that time. You can the whole sprout. Hey, she gets a unique sprout. Cadden, Cadden stays winning. Wow, Mercy is actually gonna hit 200 HP, isn't she? I'm just happy everyone made it here. We might lose a couple against Lance. It would not surprise me. I don't have the best built team for this. I just have a team. I have a really weird team. If I was going for optimal Pokemon, I would not have brought Strontium through like most of this journey. But we're not going for an optimal team. Level 50. I know this seems weird to have two water moves and two ice moves and get rid of Perish Song. But this lets me trust that I can take out any one of Lance's Pokemon Mercy goes up against. You know? Okay. Song bad, no complaints. Pear song amazing. Many complaints. 196. Trying to safeguard. Bit late. Wee bit late. The thing that sucks, by the way, you know Smart Fridge, how he just became okay? Yeah, all of Lance's Pokemon are flying type. All immune to earthquake. I think it's the rudest thing ever to give you earthquake so late as a TM, and then all of the final fights Pokemon are immune to it. Smart Fridge moment. Look, Smart Fridge has just been bad the whole journey, but that's okay because he's about to learn something that will give him a purpose.
This is a dumpster match, right? <laughs> you got lock your phone in a dumpster. <laughs> Definitely. I got a bad feeling about this. Nah, we've got so many ice moves around the team. This team was built for lands, and that's why we struggled so much throughout the um, Elite Four. Yes, it was built for lands. I only got to pick one Pokemon on this damn team. Sparfish contingency plan? You know it. Okay, let's just make sure we got enough moves. Okay, Thoron, you got enough Thunderbolts? Yes, definitely. <laughs> You've got... You've got enough explosions. You're full on ice punches. You're full on ice punches. You're not coming out. You're almost full on ice beams and you have all those icy winds. Let's go. comes the music. I didn't think lands would ever be stressful. I didn't realize hardcore nuzlocks were so hard! I would have jumped into a genlock like a moron! Thunderbolt chaos. We know this, right? There's no world in which this doesn't. There's no world. I was afraid for a second, I thought it stopped. Which one? Well, 47, so it's the blizzard one. Hyperbeam? Thunderwave, okay. <laughs> Not a problem. Suck it. Right. I really wanted it to use Hyper Beam, but... It's the one with Blizzard, it doesn't have anything. It's got Blizzard, Hyper Beam, Thunder Wave, and Twister. I know his movesets. Twister's pathetic, so if we get a free switch into Mercy here... Now, here's what it all comes down to. Did I give Mercy enough Carbos that she outspeeds the Dragonite? The answer is, I don't know. And here's where it matters, because this boy's rocking thunder. <sighs> We're done. He's got nothing. His Charizard is pathetic, because I've got so many water types. His other Dragonite has a fire move as his main move. This is the only threatening thing remaining on his team. And it missed. Oh, isn't it nice when everything comes together? A crit? No, I just did that much. Well... Hell, I'll use another one. Mercy OP? That's what you get when you fill your Lapras with drugs. Charizard outspeeds. Icy Wind plus... I Icy Wind into Surf is probably the best way to go here. Now, Mercy doesn't resist fire. So this will hurt. Oh. Well, that Charizard's the hardest hitting thing he's got left, so whatever. Lapras is really good! I can practically hear Roxanne shitting herself from here. Cause, I, Cause I'm bringing the water team to Hoenn. The IOC wishes to know your location. Lottie Challenger inner Hannibal. 
Right, this one might outspeed me, but it doesn't matter at this point. It can't take me out, I'm pretty sure. Lance was- that was him thrown in the towel. I told you! I told you! This team was built for Lance! The rest of the Elite Four was a struggle, but this team was built for Lance! That's why Mercy's here and not Hypno! Whitney was harder? I- I had options for Lance, I didn't have options for Whitney. I took my best Pokemon for Whitney and I just got really unlucky. And, because of how the amulet coin works, Lance gave me the least amount of money of all of them. <sighs> I didn't lose any of them. How? How did I not lose any of them? Also, I was kind of bluffing at the end. If he used Hyper Beam, I think I might have taken Lapras out. Dragonite has the highest attack stat of any Pokemon at this point. Now it's Gen 3? Well, not immediately. Next week it's Gen 3. I do have to go to bed. It is 1am. Before that though, what we're gonna do is we're going to... Um, can't wait, same. My god, Gen 3 is where I think it starts. But yes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna note down all of our teams IVs, and we're gonna roll for them. I'm gonna do that on stream so that you know I'm not cheating. We witnessed the rise of a new league champion. I kicked ass. <sighs> I would have only lost one Pokemon if um, Smart Fridge wasn't so awful with Whitney. I would have only lost my like, Kadabra. <sighs> Rathalos flew so that they could run. Thorin made it! <laughs> That's my Pikachu from Yellow! <laughs> and he was good! Smart Fridge, how are you still here? Anacos, you're just reliable, but I don't love you anywhere near as much as I love Chikorita. <laughs> Even with that name. You're really good in the early game, Strontium, but uh, you'll get better in Gen 4 if you make it there. And Mercy. Who just came in at the end and just dominated. <laughs> 151 Pokemon seen. I saw them all. I saw them all. I saw every one of them. What a weirdly specific amount. How did I miss exactly 100 Pokemon? It's gonna be gaslighting people with that. Okay, I'm just writing down all of their names really quickly. But Fridge. Anacos. And now we get the credits. We did it. We did it. We did it. And who can forget Strontium? Apart from me, apparently. GG, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know how that worked out so well, but it did. Back 10, and 15. Don't mind me, I'm just noting down all of the stats I actually know. Now one thing that's really interesting about this jump is that I'm just gonna be translating DVs directly to IVs. Which means all of our Pokemon are currently below average. Look at those wiggly dittos. Yep, yeah, next week we move on to Emerald, which I think will actually be faster, weirdly. I know my way around Emerald a lot better. Thank you, thank you for all the congratulations. <laughs> Easily my favourite emote. Okay, I don't actually know Smart Fridge's HP. Attack was 15. Smart Fridge had maxed out attack, and it's a shame that that's just become average attack going into Gen 3.
Smart Fetch is actually really good. Shockingly. You wouldn't believe it. I don't see Smart Fetch making it through Emerald, unfortunately. But I didn't see him making it through Crystal. Fiend. Da -da. I just want to make sure. Like that. We're all here, right? Everyone's alright? Everyone's okay? Everyone's alive? Cool, cool. Let's just do one final save. And one final save state. And then say goodbye. And I will... Let's actually look- let's- let's get into the guts of this. Let's see what they were like. What were they doing with their time? Did we catch any particularly good Pokémon that I didn't realize? Yeah, figures. Zero attack. Ghastly was terrible too. You're pretty good. Anyway, that's not what we care about. What we care about are these Pokémon. You own those guinea pigs? Five of them are still with us. HP 13. Smart Fetch is stacked, seriously. Um, <laughs> it's got a picture of a Rostberry. A lot, a lot of guineas. Yeah, I usually feel. Why is. Wait. Why is Frail here so small? <laughs> why is Frail here so small? Anyway, Anakos. Yeah, I usually feature my guinea pigs. Unfortunately, one of them actually passed away earlier today. Um, so I removed the redeem because I didn't want... Uh, I didn't want to go through and see them and get really sad. Does Gen 2 have sizes? Maybe it's a small Frelgator? No, it's because all the other ones are taking their Let's Go Pikachu EV sprites and Frelgator's not in that game. Nine attack? Oh, okay. You guys can see this when I'm hovering over it, right? That shows up, right? Nope. <laughs> okay, apologies. I didn't realize that this entire time. Special attack 11. Sorry for your loss in a better place now. She definitely was. She had a stroke in the night, I think. Um, when I came through, her body just wasn't working anymore. She was very upset about it. It was really upsetting because she was so full of energy yesterday, but it does happen. Chikorita, because that's not going to throw me off. Right, you're just going to have to believe me then. What's the point of me doing this on screen? I, I started now. Right, Chikorita was really, really bad. Two attack, one special, two speed, 13 defense. Wow! This was a good stream? Thank you, I thought so too. I, I, I had a good time. And Mercy, Mercy had a perfect special IV, just like I thought. I thought Mercy was zero attack, 15 special. Speed was six, which was middling. Yeah, um, I was debating cancelling today's stream because I was in no state this morning to do any kind of streaming. But streaming makes me happy, so I thought I would give it a go. And I think it worked out because I, I genuinely feel a lot better. One of the advantages of her having been so ill for so long is that it wasn't like it was a crushing, sudden thing, you know? Um, I had time to prepare, so to speak. That's all you need? Exactly. Speed, and then Mercy, HP. What's the Gen 3 Pokémon you want next? Starter, or just in Gen 3, what do I want to catch? Um, well, normally, I would like a Sfeel. But I don't think there's a point. Things would have to go really badly for Sfeel to suddenly become necessary on that team. Okay, Strontium's HP is 12. Attack is 13. Defense is 11. Damn, these are good stats. Special is 14. It's a shame you didn't get any moves, eh? 
And speed was 12. Strontium! 15's the max. Thought the streaming helped? So am I. <laughs> I was kind of worried I might just break down into tears. HP 5. Attack 2. Defense 13 was your one good stat. Special was 1. And speed was 2. What the hell, Chikorita? Then Mercy had 1 HP. 0 attack. 10 defense. 15 special. And 6 speed. Don't win Gen 3 Pokemon, but I'm slacking a flag on a grid. Slacking is actually not too great for our purposes, but it's still slacking, so it's still really good. The odds of me catching one are very slim, though. Because it's only. Slack Slack only available in one area. Let's think about egg moves. Um, Surf. Surf 100% for Thorin, right? There's no world in which that's not Surf. That's easy, flat out egg move. Um, What does Geodude get as an egg move? I didn't, I didn't think you'd get this far. Block, Mega Punch, and Rock Slide. I think we're taking Rock Slide, because it doesn't actually land at my level up. So Smart Fed to start with Rock Slide. Anacos. We're gonna be Torchic Gang. I hope we're gonna be Torchic Gang. Torchic's not normally my preferred starter in Gen 3, but I I I've kinda got water types. Water types coming out of my ears. Wait, Squirtle just has the absolute worst egg moves I've ever seen, so I think I'll give it yawn. Yes, it's other egg moves are that dire. And Bulbasaur. Please learn Sludge Bomb as an egg move. <sighs> well, okay. There's actually some interesting ones in here. I think I'm going to go for Magical Leaf for Bulbasaur. And then obviously the other two don't get egg moves because they are new to Crystal. You need a Mudcap for the full water starter team? It isn't optional. Smartfred is the plank to me of this run. I just don't know how Smartfred is still alive. Real water is so strong. Yeah, but as it turns out, when you're up against a single electric type, or a single grass type, you're kind of screwed. That's why I need a fire type. I just need something I can switch in against grass types with. Yeah. Rock Slide, Magical Leaf are very uninteresting egg moves. Like, man, Rathalos wouldn't able to get Dragon Dance. <laughs> okay, uh, right, now I need to figure out how to do this. So let's see if we can see if we can get this up, right? Let's see if we can get the randomization thing to work. Hey, there we go. Actually, you don't need to see my bookmarks bar. Okay, time to just. I mean, all we're going to be doing for the rest of this is just rolling stats. Okay, it's really boring. Right, Thorin. HP was 4, and is going up to 22. That is a huge increase, actually. Attack was 10. It's going to 13. Great. Defense was 15. Thorin, please. Thorin. Special attack was 2. Please. Please. It was holding you back so bad. No! <laughs> Thorin! Special defense. Seven. These are awful rolls. And speed is going from six to 19. I'd like to point out Thorin's special went from one to two, from gen one to two. And now it's gone from two to three. So if we keep this up, you know, we'll have a whole seven by the time we reach uh, gen seven. Okay, Smart Fridge had 13 HP, which is now 29. Nice. 15 attack, which was perfect and is now 26. Yeah, that's pretty good. 13 defense. Never played Gen 3, so I'm excited to see the story. Gen 3 is good. DD character creator simulator stream, definitely. Be maxed by the time you get to Gen 31. Oh, true. 
22 defense. That's honestly still really good. Anything above 20 is, like, very, very passable. Special attack. This is your least important stat. Oh, okay. I expected that to be an immediate 31. Special defense. 25. Wow. Smart fridge. Hey. Could you not? Because I really just want to kill you at some point. And 19 for speed. Okay. Anakos. is going up to 19 HP. Going from 9 attack to 15. That's nice. 10 defense to 16. 11 special attack to 19. That's nice. 19's a good amount. And special defense to 16. That's less good. And speed is also 11. What the hell? Up to 25. Fast little turtle boy. Strontium's HP is going from 12 to 22. Attack is going from 13 to 23. Defense from 11 to 28. Nice. Actually, all of these are nice. Well, I'm just like so accepting of. No, these are really high stats. Special attack. God damn it. Special defense. Okay. And speed is going from 12 to 25. Hey, Strontium's really trying over here. And it will get better. Chikorita's HP is going from a dire and miserable 5 to 11. Great. Attack from 2 to 23. Thank God. We have something. Defense is going from 13 to 19. Okay, not much, but it'll do. Special attack, we're going from 1 to 22. Anything was an improvement. Special defense, 23. Yo. Okay, the HP kind of let me down, but everything else here is kind of kind of vibing. 2 from t 2 to 13? Sure, I'll take that. And Mercy, HP is going from 1 to 15. Attack from 0 to 22. Defense from 10 to 13. Great. I don't want bulk anyway. Special attack from 15 to, to 16. Uh, the fact that 15 is perfect in Gen 2 and like halfway in Gen 3 is so sad. Special defense, 22. And speed. We got one perfect stat. And that is our Pokemon sorted. Um, yeah, I am just gonna head out for the night, I think, then. We did it, we did Gen 2. How? 36 rolls you expect to get two, I think. <laughs> Don't remind me of the fact I just had 36 rolls and got 22 like eight times. It's 36 rolls is like 1.5. Yeah, but I wasn't rolling from 0 to 31. You know, a lot of them were starting at like 15 and stuff, so. Yeah, well. Yeah, we'll be back next week. I don't know what day on. Um, my schedule is on fire at the moment. I'll be back at some point next week to do Emerald. That's a range of 22. Yeah. I mean, 22 is fine. 22 is passable. I'll keep an eye out. Okay. I will, um, as soon as I know, I'll update it on here. And I will also tweet about it. I'll, uh, yeah, hang on. Um, I tweet about it and I I put it on my Discord server. Um, while I'm post while I'm posting links, you know, while I'm posting links. Uh, but I'll I do also update my schedule here, whenever anything changes. I always go straight to Twitch to make sure that because I know people don't follow me in these other places and I don't expect them to have to in order to figure out what I'm up to. Um, but the, I generally just think those places are like Twitter and Discord are easier for finding out my schedule. Because I, I say when I've updated them, but I can't I can't post messages on Twitch if that makes sense. It is what it is. Anyway, I am starving. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and eat food and then go to bed. So thank you all for 
thank you all for being here. Seriously, um... I kind of was just able to get lost in this stream. I was really worried I was going to be low energy and not particularly... Not particularly having a great time, but no, that was that was a lot of fun. That was very tense at the end as well. I actually thought I was going to lose to Will, but it's like, I can't lose to Will. Have you had to week four? Yeah, looking forward to week four, definitely. I don't think my week three time was all that good, to be honest. I don't Discord? Thank you very much. We're not scared of Discord either. Yeah, no, we're really, yeah, it's, it's a very chill Discord server. Bit, bit weird at times, but... It's a Discord server. Um, yeah, thank you for being here. I will return on Sunday. I'll do something on Sunday. Here for the Pokemon. And honestly, so am I. <laughs> I love those things. I like getting a branch out into other stuff too, don't be wrong, but like... Pokemon. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Thank you all for being here. Have a nice night. I'll see you next time. And thank you to my favorite little VOD viewer.